and we're good. Ta-da! 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 The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. But the boys are back in town. By the way, just so you know, it we're great to have Zito here. He's about to do a solo duck call album. I am so jazzed for it. <laughs> Jesus that's the single that's dropping the right now. The problem is, is that you were actually able to tell what the fuck. I no, know. No, what hey, that no. Was, I, yeah. well, what what's going to be great is when Kanye samples it. <laughs> 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 guys, you go, but thank you for the sub, guys. Welcome back to the Unexpectables. <laughs> we survived space. Holy shit! Uh -oh. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna start okay. off strong here. Just starstruck 17 starts striking us God. once more. My God, starstruck 17 with not the one, not the two, but the 25,000 bits from starstruck 17. We live! <laughs> Round of applause for starstruck 17. Thank you so much. Starstruck, it is, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Starstruck! I'm always, I'm always reminded by Starstruck because I have a saved image of their cobalt in mm. my computer that randomly comes up at times, like whenever I'm searching for stuff for some reason. I, I, it, always, I, it always shows up, and I'm like, all oh, right, Starstruck. Yeah. I'm like, why does it I, always show up I, whenever I search for anything? I, 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 I Fooby, dude, don't cry. I will, uh, I'll say this, guys. I now have, to, I feel like we have to work Starstruck's name into the show today. Let's see, oh, let's see if I can do it. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Welcome. I can't believe we've Holy shit, look at all the subs. I oh know, I'm about God. to thank Warfa mm -hmm. Warfa Gamaleo, the Goblet of Unmaking, Anime for the Way, Alicord 790, Zen Leader, Viral Tech 1, Random Man, Hype Incarnate, Karate Eagle, <laughs> Zandros, <laughs> Iggy cool. Hutsukino Kage, Dax, Z99, Rook, Alec, Random Man with 10 subs, gifted to the community. Thank you so much to Random Man. Zeno, where can they find you? You can find me, sorry, eating dinner as quickly as possible. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito, where there are indie games, there's homebrew, uh, there's artwork. I need to get back into that desperately, so artwork will be happening. But over the weekend, we've been playing this really kick-ass game called Disc Creatures in lieu of waiting on Pokemon. So come on by and don't at ball.com. Just whatever you do, don't at ball.com or else Moobot will fucking send you to the sun. Oh. Oh, that's, that's... Oh, 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 what, Goob? Oh, Goob, oh, what, Goob? But the, do you want to know, do you want people to know where Look, they can find it? it just sounds a little extreme. I know Zeno can be a little volatile, but it seems a little harsh. Like, to the sun, it couldn't just be the moon. It's got to go the fucking sun. Just don't Z add ball Z Z You need to understand, Zito is a, he is a, he is, he is a grumpy artist. He is Irish and Italian. He is all of New York boiled down to one person. I wish well, uh, I was born in. I wish I think I was born in the wrong era. I need to be like one of those vaudeville actors. You would be speaking, on vaudeville. You would be I on. I would love to do that. You would totally be. Speaking, on vaudeville. speaking of New York, I do have an announcement to make. Okay, way. go for it. Go for it. You have your. You have, a, you have a minute, man. Go for it. Okay, cool. So I'm actually going to be at Anime NYC, uh, November 15th through the 17th. If you are on the East Coast, heading north for that for any reason, come say hi. There's lots of cool stuff going down. Uh, otherwise, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. Taiko Tuesday has been an absolute blast. We have a brand new overlay that is just amazingly kick-ass thanks to our local Tabby Cat. Uh, otherwise, I've been playing the shit out of the Neo 2 beta. It's been super fun. As soon as it comes out in March, I'm going to be streaming the whole damn thing. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be doing online groups, and there's no communication in that game, so it's going to be fun. My goodness, I the subs and bits right now are incredible, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will get to you in a- oh my god. We will get to you guys in a moment- Ah! Jesus. All right. Oh, Jesus Lord, uh, guys. Distortion, distortion devil, where can they find you, you bedeviling, beguiling baby, b baby? Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah, you. Oh, they can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where uh, I'll be doing random, really, really short- probably like one hour, 45 minute uh, streams per day of Ring Fit Adventure. Uh, I skipped today because I uh, had a lot going on and I didn't really feel like streaming, but I did play it today. So I did not skip. Good did not boy. skip that workout today. Not skip Ring uh, Day. 
other than that, Friday is going to be Friday Funhouse. Saturday is going to be The Witcher, Blood and Wine. Uh, and Sunday is going to be uh, more D&D subclass creations. we got one more subclass to go before we're done with the first round. Monty, our DM oh. extraordinaire returned from a hiatus once more. I'm back. Thank you guys so much for being patient. Thank you so much, guys, again, for letting me have a short vacation. I am recharged, and I'm fucking, I'm so ready to go. <laughs> um, I've, I've had a lot of time to kind of, like, do, I mean, I, I took time off. I did, did take some time off to myself, but I also did some work on the Unexpectables, of course, because, you know, old habits die hard. Uh, thank you guys so much for your patience. Thank you guys so much, uh, and thank you guys so much for getting lots of love to Connor, mm. uh, Distortion Devil, for running Orktober with the crew. Bravo, bravo to Connor. Yeah. Um, uh, if you guys didn't catch me over the course of the month, I've been, I have been streaming. Um, I will be streaming uh, Skies of Arcadia every Thursday. Uh, tomorrow should be streaming that. And then uh, every now and again, I'm, I've gotten jumped right back into Resident Evil 2. So I'm doing a lot of uh, all Mr. X runs. I do <laughs> kind of general runs. Shut up. They're really fun. I they're really they super uh -huh. fun. Um, for reasons. For reasons. Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> um, so you can catch me there. You can also catch me on Twitter. Uh, I also got a cat, so that's kind of a big development too. Uh, she's currently sleeping somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm doing great. I'm so excited to be back. I'm super, super hyped to be back. Oh, you, so. I can tell your excitement from text messages. Oh, How, and, and oh, when, yeah. you, when I can tell you're excited from text messages, I'm like, oh my lord. Because usually you're you're cold, caught, and serious in text messages. <laughs> you inherited, you got that gene from dad. Oh yeah, Jeez. okay. K. My K. no, my dad sends a K with a period. That is finality <laughs> at its <laughs> finest. <laughs> that is that is that is like oof. All right, and hi everybody. I'm Takahata 101, and I am back from the land of the living, to land of the living. Good God in heaven, that cold for two and a half weeks. Wow, holy shit, everybody. Um, uh, it was uh, pretty crazy. Thank you all for your uh, patience, and uh, yeah, no, it's uh, good to be back. Uh, you can find me right here, uh, and of course we'll be having a charity event on the 16th. Uh, yeah, for Multiverse Nexus Wrestling for the Pugalug Rescue. That's coming up here. As always, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll have MNW and uh, Destiny. I'm playing a lot of Destiny. For I have decided that I am trash for that game. We must all find the game we are trash for. Zito, what game are you trash for? Uh, What the fuck is the name of that game? Uh, Oh, The Outer Worlds. I'm trash for that. Outer Ooh, Worlds. Yeah, yeah. All good right. Choice. Pretty good, pretty good. Goomba, what are you trash for? Uh, Neo, we've oh, confirmed oh. this. Uh, Connor, what are you trash for? Oh, God, right now? Uh, yeah. Children of Morta. That, oh, oh, good oh. choice. Monty, That's what game are you trash for? Uh, Mr. X Simulator. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. <laughs> I need to get through a lot of, of subs and bits. So I'm going to need you to... All right, there we go. All right, just, rap just... god, rap god. <clears throat> oh, my God, I have to scroll down so much. Three <laughs> scrolls, three, three scrolls a minute. Ah, three scrolls an actual in canon minute. Okay, here we go. Uh, 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 mm, uh, we're clearing this up. <clears throat> Rook, Alec, Battle Turtle, one, two, three, Lunatic Crow, eighty four, Spaceman Joe, Bizarre Coyote, Dragon, one, two, four, Dynamite, thirty six, No Nobody X, Y Beast, Lord uh, Zenocrates, Winter, Winter Baby Doll, Eternal Warlord, two five one, Greasy X Smooth, and Taurus four, Rook Cat, The Kaleidoscape. Crow of the Immortal, Awesome Link, Chaos Rift 2, Kingdom of the Kitty, Adachi 330, Spaceman Monster, DRK Get It 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Kings Grimoire, Point Dexter, Inferno, Uwu, Argent Lyell 13, Arctic Burn, Mr. Fuck 'em Up 2001, Malefic, Malefic Cucumber, Nanoan Has, Gently Senpai, Dr. Jack Pharmacist, Javon456, Three Gold Bulls, One Code, Kaze3173, Salty Monk, Philip Chanter, as well, H. Lone Heart, Revenant, Raziel, Iro, Genix, Rome, Love, Blue, Moy, Luna, Portal, Jumper, 339, Kane Line Guard, and Master Monster 11. Thank you all for the subs. And now for the beats.
So let's go back over here for the bits. Thank you so much, one son of an one. The boys are back in town with 2,000 bits. Thank you so much. Daisy Head with 1,500 bits. It's time to get okay. It's time to get okay. Way back, bitches. <laughs> Kino, the... Oh, oh, no, what happened? Kurt? Kurt? Hello? What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened, folks? Ladies and gentlemen, one second. I do apologize. So I, just, I hit a button. Uh -oh. I hit a button. Hello? I hit a, I hit a button. Oh, my God. We're going to have to resync, guys. <laughs> I hit, oh, a, I, no. uh, I hit a damn, what did you do? I accidentally hit my voice mod button. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so let's, let's resync. So all right. just delete everything then? Yep. Yeah. 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 All, all right. right. Delete it all. all right. One second. One second. Sorry, chat. Uh, hi, Austin. Hi, hi Austin. Hey, we Austin. We said some nice things about you when we started the recording, but Kurt messed up, but we still love you and we're glad we no, no, you. Now that now there are only mean things right. being said about me. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, like you're stinky. Wow, what a what a quality D industry. Uh oh, stinky. <laughs> stinky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys ready? Uh, no. Yeah, oh, one, yeah, one, one second. One second. Uh, it's just. Yeah, you're you're showing you're showing stuff on screen. Right? I am aware. Well. I am aware. I am aware. Yeah, All right, yeah. we're good. We're recording now. Hi, Austin. All right. All right, everyone. Everyone in the chat, ready to sync? All right, everyone, everyone ready to chat, sync? You ready? Let's do it. All ready. One, two, three, sync. Sync. Sink. One, two, three, sink. Sink. One, sink. two, three, sink. 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 Okay. Sink. The reason why I hit wow. it because it was actually on my it was actually on my stream deck and it was too close to my microphone. That's what happened. All right. So it's uh, off. It it, it 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 is off entirely and the stream deck is very far okay. away from my fat fingers. Okay, good. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Marcus the Terror with a seventeen hundred eighty five bit. So happy you're all back. So happy you're all feeling better. So happy you're safe from weather. So happy we're back. Together for Marcus Otera. Thank you so much for the 1,785 bits. Alucard790 with 5,000 bits. We are back, baby, you cheeky dick waffles. I missed all of you. Mm. I still can't get over that thing that, that Kaiser found that was like, yeah. a, it was like a wolf with like multiple eyes that had your voice coming oh, out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. That was pretty cool. I was actually pretty impressed by that. That was really, yeah, the, whoever put time into that, it's truly amazing. You can check it out on Scott's Twitter if you want to check out what we are talking about. Pretty damn cool. Yeah. Con prop, but Alucard790, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Greasy Explosion, thank you for the bits. Portal Dropper, thank you for the 500 bits. Evening all, glad to see you all back here. Can't wait for domestic life. <laughs> yeah, we all retiring. Bullhonkinator with 5,000 bits. Ah, oh, shit, here we go. Thank you, Bullhonkinator. Probate with 2,000 bits. After 30 days, they're free. It's time to conquer Tricania. We're going back to Tricania, boys. No. Oh, oh no, fuck. No. It's like we walk, try and leave. We just walk back into it. Oh, no. <laughs> the Underdark. We, oh, went, we went to the three most deadly places in Dungeons and Dragons. The Underdark, uh, Weird Werewolf, Undead. Vampire City and Hell. Mm. To be to be fair, we've already been to Hell. It was just another Hell. Yeah, there's different levels of fair, Hell. To be fair, the Discord realm isn't really Hell. But, it's it's a realm, but it's you know. another pocket dimension. It counts. Yeah, thank, a Hell. Thank you so much for the two thousand bits, probate. One son of one thing with the additional five hundred bits as well. Lovely Lorelai, fifty one with a thousand bits. New roll with me. New Unexpectables, and I got a big bonus at work. Good times. Ooh, well, congratulations, nice. lovely Lorelai51, and thank you for the thousand bits. Shen500, first <laughs> time live in a while. I'll be with you guys since the beginning. Bring it on! Happy face. I have to laugh. Someone said it's hell too. <laughs> hell? Oh, two. oh, oh no. <laughs> Man, I, 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 it's like that one, what was that one Ubisoft spinoff game, Blood Dragon? It was like, it, it, it was like, ever since we lost Vietnam 2. We knew this would happen. <laughs> it always made me. Pop Tart Depression. Thank you for the bits. D4C Trace. Thank you for the bits as well. We're going to get through these all before we start off here. Protoss 103 with 1,050 bits. The Unexpectables is back. Things to do. Cure vampirism and introduce Tubbs to his new brother, Xenosoc. 
What? Thank you so much for the bits, Protoss103. <laughs> Greasy X Spoon with the 1500 bits. Welcome back, mates. Finally was able to catch up on all 102 episodes. Hot damn. That is crazy, Greasy X Spoon. Thank you for the 1500 bits. So, Super Blue Hit Egg. Saw your new design. Looks great. 1006 bits. Monty, any word on the other items stolen by Athtar? Tropers need for recap. Uh, Tropers need it for the recap page. Well, as we'll it's tea. Out. <laughs> and I, uh, Rook Cat with 10,000 bits from Rook nice. Cat. Bits for okay. folks battering themselves. Now, excuse me while I slumber until my next emergence. <laughs> and the tomb closes. Nice. That's crazy. That did it all by itself. That was automated. Wow. Rook Cat, thank oh, you. Man. That was a bravo, bravo, bravo for that. <laughs> the dust is reapplying itself. All right, thank you so much. Three cold bowls, one coat with 5,000 bits. And the message is simple. Welcome back. Well, it's good to be back. Three cold bowls, one coat, and thank you for the 5,000 bits. Boo Radley, Super Blue Hedgehog, thank you for the additional bits. Blackfoot Ferret with the... Come on, guys. It's tradition. Can we all do it now for Blackfoot Ferret? Can we? Okay, all right. Yeah. One, two, three. It's over it's 9, over nine. From Black like Butt. That. No, no, that did not happen. We're gonna have to. Oh man! Yes. Welcome back, folks. Thank you so much, Blackfoot Ferret, for the over nine thousand bits. And a couple more people here. We're gonna get started, folks. The White Fox up. I'll Thank you. you. I will give you five more minutes because beautiful. Because uh, it's kind of crazy right now, Monty. It's yeah. wild out here in the field, Monty. <laughs> I feel like you're cutting. Yeah. <laughs> Ashendari 010 with thirteen hundred bits. Oh, we are back, lads. Hashtag feed the best boy. Thank you so much. Shiny Lab, thank you for the bits as well. Trelter Skelter, thank you for the 500 bits. Also, here's some bits. Thanks for being an inspiration for me and so many people. Love you guys so much. Wah! Thank you so much. Oh my god, there's so many more subs. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Who did I stop on? Do we remember? I don't know. Oh, there's so many. I know. They're all so nice, aren't they? Yes. All right, we're, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with this one. We're gonna start with uh, Kane Line God, Master Monster Eleven, Alcohol Lock, Bull Hogginator, Zacko Duo, gifting us up to Zito, the Light Ward, Clown Captain, Ski Bro Eight Three Six, Good Road Twelve, PM Ghost, Trelter Skelter, White Cory in the house. <laughs> oh, uh, oh Noxious Virus One One Seven, Cobra Dick Thirty Six, Gray Nineteen Ninety Five. The Punguin, Equinox 4, Mark Wolf, Mixter 99, Cable McDude, The Mistum, Novagen Zen Hawk, Reaver Barrage, Zeniel Kuhn, Ivan, Kes Ivan Keska, Hug Lords, uh, Anonymous gifting us up to Brigitaro, Tiny Behemoth, Mr. Nani, The Armored Owl, 10 subs gifted by the Shadow Producer. Wait, who the- who's this? Who is the- who is the Shadow Producer? Who is he? Defector Chief, thank you for the bits as well. Oh my god, you guys are completely insane. Uh, insane. Lost oh, Signal 2, thank you so much as well. Javon456 with 1,500 bits. Welcome back, y'all. I'm looking forward to the fun. <laughs> Javon, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Oh, my lord. And we, as well, thank you so much to Defective Sheep and for the additional bits. And Bull Honkinator with 5,000 bits. Why can't I hold all these bits? Ah, 5,000 bits from Bull Honkinator. Good God in heaven. <laughs> I'm dying out here, folks, but not as much as I'm dying to tell you that the Light Ward just dropped 10,000 bits from the ashes of Orc Nike rises the best D&D campaign in the world. Let's do this from the Light Ward for 10,000 bits. Thank you so much, the Light Ward. And now, Don Stick with 5,000 bits, I have re 500 bits, I have returned from centuries of slumber, now the universe must burn! And Gamaliel with 500 bits, no message, just bits. And that is it from me. Is there anything else we'd like to announce, Monty? Uh, there's one thing I'd like to say, if that's okay. Absolutely. Uh, I'd love to give a quick shout out uh, to my friends who caught up with the show over the course of this past month. So, Draco, uh, Fanfur, uh, uh, thank you guys so much for watching my show. And additionally, guys, uh, currently right now, uh, one of the artists who has done work for the show, as well as a bunch of promotional images for us, Siggy Koo at the moment, hmm. is trying to get some commissions because her family needs a new fridge. 
Uh, so if you guys know Siggy Koo or fans of her work, you should go commission her or help her with her coffee. Cause you know, I personally like food and I'd like Siggy to continue to eat as well. So if you guys want to head over there, you'll you get you... better commission Siggy or but, I'll but, post this. But, but, Connor, no, Connor, no, no, no. no, no. But Monty, if there's only one food and you oh. and Siggy are there, who, who gets food? And what okay. if, what, and what if Limes is also hungry? Oh no, we'd, no one would eat. We'd all be Connor, too polite. Where do we do, do we steer the train off the tracks or into the child? What do we do? <laughs> oh Con my God. Connor, Connor, I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, if the SpaghettiOs and meatballs one was heated, I'd eat it. <laughs> no, and you know what? It, if, we're being, if we're being perfectly honest here. Now that's real. When I hear gas, when I hear gastro pub, that's what I think. <laughs> that's all what right. I think. So all righty. So let's get started, guys. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Um, all righty. See you, chat. All right. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and Borky the Orc Barbarian, the party, after a strenuous journey through the wild and dangerous Underdark, a delve into the alien realm of Discord, and a trek through the northwest Alabastian wilderness, eventually find themselves home. Home to the wondrous city of Alabast. Home to various races and people. Home of opportunity, magic, and wonder. Home to the attic and a new mysterious magical crystal now floating in tandem with the attic's prolific crystal over the whole city. Home. And as the party approaches the city walls, many features of the city become more clear. So, after your extraneous and long journey, you guys eventually make your way towards the city of Alabast, a familiar and almost comforting sight. But as you guys approach, you do notice that there are a few features of the city, of the city that are different as you begin to approach. The walls now stand taller with more ballista and weapons of defense and the tent district, once just an open field of tents and small shack-like buildings, now has a wall as well. And you notice a perimeter being guarded as well. The people inside are welcome to enter and leave as they choose, but are far more defended as they used to be being out in the open. As you guys move towards the city, you notice that there's a chill to the air. It's colder than you remember leaving. When you guys left, it was very, very warm and summery. But as you guys do approach, you begin to notice the slight change of color in the trees and foliage to the south. So, as you guys approach, what would you like to do? Get, our, get, my, vampire, you... get my shit cured. Okay. <laughs> uh, how, how would you, are you looking for someone in the tent district to do that? Or are you going to hope to get through the city walls? I would think I would want to go to the city since I live there and I could find someone no, no, who can no, get we, we, we gotta, we, What we gotta do is we gotta find Log and he's gotta give you a garlic rub. He just rubs you down like a piece of meat. <laughs> 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 yeah, smear it all in. Uh, as you guys move, uh, you see that like not only is there like these stone walls, there's also a lot of like painting on the outside of these walls. Uh, Borky, if you want to make a history check, Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. The save on this is quite low, because this is something related to being an orc. Mm. So. Now, this is on the small walls that are surrounding the tent city, correct? Yes. These are, are on the small walls. Are, are they the made of city. wood with spikes at the top? Pointy ends? Uh, no, these are drawings. These are drawings on the walls. Oh, okay. But is the wall made of wood or stone? The wall is stone. It oh, shit. It looks like dwarven stone. Yeah, it's legit. It's not like it's not as big or as like massive as the inner city walls, but it's like it's like a kind of like a temporary wall. Um, but definitely can keep invaders out for sure. Uh, so leave your roll that history check. Well, that is a big whopping <laughs> four. four. Hmm. Um, you're kind of dumbfounded for a while until you see a picture of a boar and you're like, oh, that's the Double Tusk clan. They've been should... drawing on the walls to claim their territory. Oh, oh good. Right, right. Just. Ah, oh, looks like the double tuck swung by, boys. Yeah, that seems like a. That's that's a good thing, right? I mean, I I would like to think so it is. Also, I don't remember the wall being so close. It's like it moved out a bit. Not to mention, I don't remember it being this cold. Panic 
how long was time dilation in the uh, realm of Discord? Yeah, how do you spell dilation, too? Uh, uh, that's more of a mom question. I, I am brand new to Mom! <laughs> mom! I am not your mother. I'm his mother. I know, Mrs. Panic's mom. <laughs> As you look, you, you see Euphoria is currently, like, wrapping her neck, the mouth neck, with, like, a scarf at the moment. Oh. Is is that not he like motions to his own neck? Is that not like a, a thing that you should show? Virgil, how many people do you know that have a mouth in their neck? It's a hell of a conversation. How many starter. people do you know that can do this? And I barb up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you take after your cousin. That's cute. And uh, to be fair, Miss yeah. Grimtongue, we know a man. We know a gnome who has a fish for a head. He's I, actually our chef. He's a halfling. halfling. He's a ha he's a half, half he's a halfling task. He's a halfling. Yes. I know He's a you've, halfling. Been, you've been to Alavas before, Mom. I have, it's, yes. it's crazy here. It is, but at the same time, there are some that do not like our persuasion. Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> well, it's anyway, I, I just, I was, um, I was just wondering if it was like, like super weird, like, like people would kill you for it. No, I, I don't no, know. I just do not want the stairs. As for the time question, um, this is something strange. Usually when I leave the realm of discord, it's the time is one to one. So I am also quite confused. I, That's weird. Um, oh. I wonder <laughs> if new things all day. I wonder if perhaps it has more to do with how we left this time. I usually leave through the way I came, but this time obviously we had a um she kinda looks to your guitar, an escort. So we took the long right. If if uh were we Unconscious longer than we thought we were. Hmm. I'm wondering. Uh, you hear it kind of whisper. Go. I'm wondering how long time will last, but it seems that time flies. <laughs> that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that makes sense. It's logical, really, if you think about it a little bit. Oh. All right, all right. Before we go in, we need to prioritize things. Wait, Task, I know you need to get cured. So does she. Wait, uh, that's wait, true, that's true. True. She gives you a thumbs up, like, yeah, that'd uh, be great. But guys, if if <laughs> but we weren't really having fun down there, so how could time fly? I don't understand magic. Task Squidward, Squidward like Clearly. slams his face into the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> you get some paint on your face from the orc drawings, but uh. it's fine. Just wipe it off. It's like. <laughs> It's so it, it the paint itself is a mixture of what you assume is like some sort of like berry mixture, but also blood. So you know. Oh. You oh, at first there was pomegranate. Now there's metallic acid. Can I make a suggestion, gentlemen and lady? Can we just go home for the day and then report all of our findings tomorrow? I'd like that. That uh, would be, yeah, we should do that. We've been walking along this wall could for a while. We could get Doros to help. Uh, that's, fair. that's fair. He's, but, yeah, he's, let's done, just... he's done it before. This is true. We just have to hope that he's actually at the Sweet Dragon. I'll just give you like a holy light rub down, you know? Right, well, let's head back home first, and if he's there, we can get that finished up. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Uh, Mrs. Grimtong? Mrs. Panic's mom? Mm -hmm. um, Mrs. Grimtong is fine. Okay. All right, Mrs. Panic's mom. Uh, just a uh, quick thing. Do you have a ticket? Oh, yes, of course I do. Oh, okay. So that, that, I thought you, if you didn't have a ticket, we could, Panic could use his guile to get you in. <laughs> I have my own guile, but thank you. Cool. I think we've brought other people into the city before just on our, our word, of, on good faith. Remember Zenrio? He got into the city that way. To be fair, Zenrio also had an invitation. Mm-hmm. Oh, did he? Yeah. Kiwi, I think Kiwi oh was the weird one, or it was the, I think it was the paladin. Like the Kiwi prisoners. came in in like a box or something. Or something. But, yeah. at, but at this point, I can't imagine that the city guard wouldn't allow us of all people to allow things in if they know we have to get shit done. You guys, so as you guys make your way through the tent town, it's a lot nicer here. There's a lot less random stabbings that you can sense. Uh, some of the buildings are actually being built. Like, uh, if you remember that tavern you guys first went to, it's actually, like, 
you see that they're actually like there's scaffolding and they're actually like making it into an actual building wow. Um, wow. where there are places where there are tent there's like little houses being currently like surveyed and planned out you see a ton of dwarves currently like with, with gear kind of like big giant planned maps pointing out certain areas uh, people kind of like making their own way through and they're kind of like noting like oh they walk through here so we should put the alley here like they're kind of like pointing out certain traffic areas and they're they're planning out accordingly um, as you guys eventually make your way to the uh, the the door, the gate that you were familiar with, you see Horus, the the Kenku, the uh, little ground owl Kenku, currently flipping through as you guys approach. Uh, yes, and she, uh, oh, oh 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 my! And he stands up and sees you. It's you. You're you're um uh the, alive. The, yeah, well, the unexpectables and alive. Uh, what good news? Um, Lady Soliandris has made it. Uh, my job to notify her if you were to arrive um, an order that's lasted about five months. Oh. So, uh... wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh all right. Okay, five uh, months great. Then. We were in... Oh, no, guys, we were time dilated. Oh, God. Huh? We got dilated pretty bad. Oh, man, um, we got dilated listen. all the way to max. Panic as you're, as you're uh, like, yes, kind of please. scratching your head. You hear if in the background go, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's it's all right. I can I can I telepathically talk yes, to yes, if, you can, or you can, do I have you to can physically say it? You only hear if in your mind, anyway. I'll, so Records. I'll 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 think I'll think uh, I'll, I'll think it's fine. We would have died either way. Never mind. Don't Gre worry Gre about it. Grecos, Grecos, look at yes, me. Yes, look at me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can yeah. you please oh, tell? Are my eyes dilated too? <laughs> are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> can you please nope. tell Lady Soliandris? that we're here as soon as possible. Oh, yes, yes, of course. You watch as he pulls out Thank a piece you. of paper and begins to quickly, like, just like, like super fast, like a, like a medical student taking notes, like quickly writes down on this quill and the paper floats up in the air and disappears. May we go in? Well, yeah, yes, uh, your tickets though, of course, and uh, your plus one kind of points towards Euphoria. And Euphoria already has her ticket out. Uh, oh. You guys go through, he analyzes oh. his ticket. I had a question, actually. Yeah, for sure. Greckles, well, well, just like as we pass through, just Greckles pokes his head out. Hey, have you seen like a like a weird floating jellyfish thing by chance? <sighs> oh, well, <laughs> that, whew, that's a story. That's a, yeah, the whole shitty, like the whole city was shut down for that. Um, it was like a full lockdown. People were hiding in their homes. It was, it's pretty, Did I was off that below? day. My God. Uh, apparently, it was talking to people in their brains, and like I was off yeah. that day. But yeah. like, okay. yeah. Do you, do My you God. know? Do you know where it is right now? Did Jerry? Did I, Jer Did Jerry do a massacre? Be honest with us. I I don't know. If you want to know more, I talked to one of the guards. Honestly. Yeah, okay. yeah, I think I forgot that not a lot of people here know what the flump is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let alone the whole telepathy. Uh, yeah, yeah, let alone, ah. let alone Jerry's personality. Well, uh, <laughs> let alone emerging from the ground as well. <laughs> I'm uh, going needless to. to say, I have notified Lady Soliandris. You are welcome to enter. Welcome home. <laughs> it's good to be oh, home. Oh, thank you. Good that, to be back. Hey, yeah. All right, you guys go through the gate, and eventually you hear the loud hustle and bustle of the lower city district as you guys make your way in. Uh a few improvements on the city. Obviously, like, the walls are more reinforced. There's ballista up on the walls for more of an aerial defense. Um, you do notice that usually the silver dragons usually stay humanoid. You're seeing a few of them are, like, flying around a little bit and, like, helping out mm -hmm. with construction. The most notable change, though, is that other crystal that is currently floating. Um, I'm going to say everyone can make a survival check to kind of pinpoint where that crystal popped out. Hey! Ah, it's a 10. Uh, Oof. survival. Blam. Uh, natural 17. one. Oh! Um, alright. So, Borky, did you want to try? Uh, you know what? I will. Screw it, I will. Alright. You have survival. You're a barbarian. Yeah. You're a burb. I am. Barbarian. We're off to a great start. Eight. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, task. As you look at that crystal... That is where you guys entered to go to the attic for the first time. That little, like, 
almost like portcullis sort of tower area. You guys went in there. It was like a shack. Hmm. It was like a weird empty stone shack. That is where the crystal is floating above now, and that shack is gone. Hmm. Is is it chained? It is chained, yeah, to the attic. There's okay. kind of like this this circular sort of like band around the center attic, and then there's a chain coming out mm. where the chain would have been attached to that building. Instead, now it's attached to that crystal, which also has a small band. Well, I guess, that, I guess that just means that every one of those little sheds or buildings or what have you house the crystal. Or at least that's what I can gather from that. Yes. Oh, let's, just get, let's just get home, put the thinking behind us for a little bit. Okay. Oh god, I feel like we've been uh, gone for so long. Well, uh, we have been technically. Yes, we have. Uh, as you guys are walking, uh, I'm gonna say Greckles, make a perception uh -huh. check as you're oh, moving through the crowd. Yeehaw! That is a big nineteen. Nineteen. You see Welch jumping on the rooftops nearby. Uh, Greckles will look. Hey, Welch! You watch the eh, stops in his tracks and turns out turns down and goes. Uh, oh shoot! I don't have a toothpick. Oh no. Uh, improvise. Oh no. I, I need to find tablet it. pen. Use your tablet pen. Got it. All right. You watch as he jumps down. Oh, I dropped it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we can't uh, even see you much. I'm <laughs> sorry. I, uh, you watch as Welch kind of like very agilely jumps down from the building, kind of slides down a part of the roof uh, and, and lands next to you. He runs over and he kind of stumbles over with this kind of like swagger to him, brushes back his hair, goes, well, I'll be. Welcome home. Here, yeah, we thought you were dead. It's <laughs> been five months. Oh, boy. Has anything crazy happened since we've been gone? Oh, yeah. There are a lot's happened. Uh, well, uh, there was this, this uh, tentacle thing that showed up in the city. Oh, like, yeah. that yeah, was like, heard about, we heard about that's that. That's Jerry. That was we like three months ago. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, he um, <laughs> is really funny. That was three months ago? Yeah, three months ago. Yeah. Do you know where he's at now? <sighs> uh, I think he's in the higher city district. Friend of yours? Uh, yeah. You could yeah. say that. We're friendly with him. It sounds right about you guys, Zally. Uh, do you mind if I uh, call someone? Someone's been uh, wanting to hear from you, and he jabs a finger towards you, panic for a while. Oh, no. God, I hope everybody didn't think we were dead. Listen. I know, so, I know so who it is. I know who it is. Uh, yeah. All right. You watch as he goes into his pocket, and you guys have a welch signal. He pulls out a different one. It's, like, brand new, this sort of, like, flare gun-looking thing. And he points it up to the air, and it flashes out. And you watch as it, almost like a firework, kind of soars through the air and eventually reaches the top end. Psh, this white light erupts. This white and blue light kind of pops out. Uh, and he kind of lowers it down, so he goes, yeah, she'll be here in a little bit. But, uh, no, glad to see you guys are good. Uh, Einford got promoted. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey. Yeah, huh. he's, work he's working for the uh, the middle district now, so he's under Stendon's orders. Um, we got a new junior officer, so uh, that's kind of fun. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. She's, got yeah. a, she's also, speaking of things with tentacles, well, it's we, got tent it's got we, we, hmm? we went under the ground and had an adventure. Oh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, well, well, well to, to put it simply, that may not be the only floating tentacle guy in the coming months. I was gonna say, uh, the the odd uh, girl we just brought in, the junior officer, she's got like this grapefruit sized little thing with serrated teeth and an eyeball and a bunch of stocks coming out of it. It's really weird. Oh god. Yeah. Huh. Its name is Peeping Tom. Oh. It's generally okay. Just gotta keep it away. Is from it me. called a gazer? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I think I know who that oh, is. God, those but, things. But she calls it Peeping Tom. So it's like her pet or something. Well, it's like those those little idiot guys that we found the uh, big floating meatballs. That's, yeah, a, that's, Welsh, that, that, that's a mistake. That, that animal pet name should have two syllables. Welsh, to put it simply, we may have opened uh, diplomatic relations with different peoples in the got, uh, underdark. I got the scrolls right here for the portal. Okay. Now we had a pretty uh, wild time underground, man. Really a wild time underground uh, you, stuff. Here's the thing. Uh, we're actually in a little bit of a pickle ourselves. Do you know where Doros is? Is he at the Sweet Dragon? Because uh, me and her, unfortunately, have a little bit of a lycanthropy issue. Oh, yeah. It's that time of the month. Literally, it's full moon. Um, Doros is working. Um, maybe. And you watch as ripping around the corner uh, runs Helena. Her hair is longer now. It, like, maybe goes past her shoulder to, like, maybe her chest at this point. 
Uh, and she's actually wearing like armor. Like she's wearing a, a really nice breastplate uh, cause before as a, as a civilian officer, she just kind of had like a, like a hall monitor sash, but she's actually wearing like official armor, an official robe. And she comes barreling around the corner and she's like, okay, who needs to be healed? I, she looks to you panic and just, you see the face just like light up and she goes, oh my God. And she just immediately tackles you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> The the jump has returned. Well, we're back for five minutes and the ladies are throwing themselves what? at them. <laughs> Six, 30 oh, saving throw, natural, natural 20. 20. You like, you like, literally she hits you like almost like Studio Ghibli style. Like her body goes up and your your feet just go back. And then she's like, oh, she's like cutting her eyes and goes, oh, it's really you. Oh, <laughs> oh, sure is. Oh, you're okay. Sure is. You're okay. Hi, I'm happy. I'm happy to see you too. Uh, hey. Hi. I had a crazy adventure. <laughs> I had a crazy dream. I well, it was a long time ago. It was like like four or five months ago. I, I had this horrible, horrible dream. You were on this big stage, and it was dark, and there was this, this horrible thing standing behind you. And, and there were these creatures, and they looked like instruments, but they weren't instruments. And there was this like little, little, little voice that told me like I, I had to like go play music. I, I had this like urge to. So I, I woke up everybody at the musical menagerie, and we were just playing like crazy and. I felt like I was a crazy person, but that's not a dream that happened. I had a feeling it, it felt really real and you're okay. And I'm, oh, I mean, we weren't sure if it worked or not, but it worked a lot. Oh, this obviously, is Panic's mom, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Working oh, oh. points. Yeah, this is my mom. <laughs> yeah, immediately, you, you like, like, um, Euphoria's just kind of been like holding her hand to her chin, kind of looking like narrow eyed towards, <laughs> towards <laughs> Helena. And like, Helena immediately is like, oh, kind of fixes herself. And she goes, oh, uh, Panic has told me a lot about you. Well, at least what he knows about you. Um, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Mom, this is uh, this is uh, Helena, and I, I slap her on the shoulder. The, this is um, she's quite the large reason why I was able to find you. I, a friend of mine knew where you went, and so we um, Euphoria just kind of reached. It goes, nice to meet you, and they kind of shake hands. She goes, um, that's super. I'm glad he was able to find you. I'm glad you're back. A lot's happened since you've been gone. I'm an officer now. Evidently. I see yeah. that. You've got bright, shiny new armor. I, I'm and... officially a, a private clerical guard of the city of Alavast. Um, just take salient... just Helena, congratulations. Hey. One day you'll be a public one. Barky gives her a big hug. <laughs> what? She kind of gets hugged by you. She's very confused. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. uh, while she's being hugged, I'm going to... Uh, while she's being hugged, I'm going to just contact Ith in my brain. It's like, did you creep into her head? Mm. And you watch just like, you could hear Ith kind of lulling over the words. Oh. Uh, sorry, I gotta write down what they say every time. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to yourself, Monty. No, I did. <laughs> It's okay, Monty. It's like me when I have to cast spells with another character and I have to rhyme yeah. it every time. Uh, you hear Ith go, companions, collaborate, collect, create. Assuming that's a yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually, Helena like kind of like tries to escape from Gorky's <laughs> grip because the hug's been going on too long. Uh, I, I just... <laughs> I don't know why, but I was sort of expecting a Y, E... Yes. Yes. <laughs> are you are you doing the pose for each letter? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Uh, on, I'm sorry. Helena kind of like squeezes and slips out of Borky's grasp and gives you a pat on the shoulder and goes, "A lot's happened, um, but it's all been for the best, I think." Um, Saliandra's pardoned me um, on your behalf, but if you want to refute that, you can, given the circumstances. But she assumed that you would pardon me. For my crimes against you, and um, I mean, yes, of course. Why would we refute that? What did you I do? I well, I. I <laughs> she kind of looks very. She looks very ashamed, and she points to Pan and goes, "I hurt him." Oh, we've. I oh, hurt right. you. We forgave each other. I think the moment, the night we found you. I think. Of so. course, we would pardon you. Well, it's been great working for everybody. It's feared. It feels kind of weird. 
but my clerical powers haven't gone away, so I mean that means Oren's happy with me. So great, hey, help hey. us out with something on that real quick, though. Uh, me and her, right? We, of course, <laughs> we have a lycanthropy issue going through our veins right now. Task, uh, task, oh. task. Look, your head's touching a baby. You're trying to drink blood. <laughs> oh, it's a melon. Uh, Never mind. My, my Sorry. My hands on your kneecaps. Oh, it's a melon. Let me, Might be. Let me see here. We need uh, uh, probably a remove curse spell. That would be great. I don't have that prepared today. Tash just like um, fucking like but like that happy cat face bites his lips. Mm, okay. But but uh but the boss does. Um he's around. I could call for him if you'd like me to. Shakes his head very fast. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you guys too. Yes, thank uh, you. And you watch and she kinda waves her hand around and it appears she's casting sending. Oh cool. Uh, and uh, you see her basically say, boss, front entrance, friends here, you may want to come if you're not too busy. Uh, Helena, something I did want to make mention. Yes. When we were in the Underdark, we actually came upon a group of worshippers of Orin in yeah. the Underdark. <laughs> you're, you're serious. I, 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 we, <laughs> uh, I think we got a lot to fill in everyone on. I think we should uh, keep moves the word right now, there, man. It's, it's not everything to everybody yet. Let's have the big deep riffing. <laughs> Mum's the word. Hmm, I am. It sure, it sure has been. <laughs> Why? Greco, don't stare at me like well, that. Too late. He already is. <laughs> look, I look. I know it's look. I know it's a lot to swallow, but I think it's important that amongst you. Maybe the small church that we have here in town. Maybe just kind of keep that on in the mind because we've opened up diplomatic relations with them. I don't know if that's more of my jurisdiction, but this isn't I... Helena. This is this is more of a personal thing. I'm not asking you to do anything about it, I... but considering you know the um, background. To be perfectly honest with you, Greckles, I um, in being part of the guard and my time adjusting. I've kind of learned to take things a day at a time. I can't really concern myself with the grandstand and things right now. I hope that makes sense. No, I, that I mean, makes I care, <coughs> but it's 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 a lot at once. And I, <coughs> if it doesn't affect me and what I need to do for the city, then I can't worry too much about it. I no problem. That... All right, boys, let's get going to the sweet dragon. I want to make a mug of see, weed. Um, as you guys begin to walk, you see coming around the corner, very tall and in brand new armor, uh, Doros. Uh, his oh, armor now has a cape on the back of it. Uh, he's got the sort of large sort of like chain sigil over the shoulder. Um, and as he walks around the corner, you see him flanked by Sebastian Strong, uh, who looks oh, no different than the day you left. Um, <laughs> You see Grinelda now wearing more refined armor similar to Einford. It looks like she's been promoted as well, uh, holding a clipboard. And behind her, you see a young drow girl. You probably put her at about maybe 14 or 15 years old. Um, and she's wearing like dark necromancy robes with like skulls on them, uh. but then has like the bright <laughs> sash of the city guard. I bet she has and poetry. hovering. Uh, hovering next to her, you see what you guys recognize as a gazer, uh, a bright green gazer with a big eye who's just kind of like shifty eyes around and like looking around at things. Um, as Duros kind of catches, like eyes kind of catch each other, he begins to like speed walk towards you guys. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, you're approaching. Oh shit! <laughs> no. Uh, eventually, he reaches. I'll give it to you. What? <laughs> he, as he as he kind of hovers above you guys, he just kind of smiles. This kind of very earnest Dorosi smile, and you watch as a Grinelda kind of looks over and goes, "All right, what was the call for?" And Helen is kind of like, "Oh, well, it was more. Um, well, look who's back." And she kind of points to the rest of you guys, and um, Grinelda kind of sighs and goes. You're not supposed to use those spells for whatever. Skulk, write it down. And you watch as like the little drow girl is like grabs the clipboard and starts to like write. Uh, but Doros uh, kind of we did have a bit of a med medical emergency. Uh... Yeah, yes, medical emergency. Uh, Mr. Doros, uh, boss. Um, <clears throat> um, uh, hey, they're vampires. 
uh, werewolves? What we've was been it? Bit by, we've been bit by werebats. Please, aware of us. Mm. Oh, bear, 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 bear. Was it uh, bats or were... bears? Don't ask us. It was bats. But don't ask. Bats. But don't ask us where it was in the woods. It was a mixture of the two. I don't exactly remember which one was which and who got bit by ba who. And basically, there. we have lycanthropy running through us. Please help. Uh, hmm. You watch his like, <laughs> like, like smack. He just like with both big gauntleted hands, like just engulf <laughs> your head. He grabs you, Task. Uh, he will cast uh, remove curse on you, so you are cured. Yay! <laughs> it's really fun. Just for just for note for people watching, I have redone every single NPC sheet. Oh. oh so, because a lot of them have leveled up, um, so it's really neat going through their sheets and and having them use spells. And um, now my snout is inside my cranium. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's like a sandwich with your ears just peeking out through his fingers. <laughs> Eventually, he lets go of you, and you feel a lot better. You feel um, as if whatever force was kind of impulsing you to be violent um, is quite- What do you mean, Borky's right here? <laughs> That's true. It's true, I, it's true, I won't- shut. I, I, it's low-hanging fruit, it's, I'm sorry. It's true, oh, I won't no. be quiet today. <laughs> uh, you watch as, as Doris lets go of your head, you feel the air kind of rush around you, your ears kind of re-like, like, situate themselves, your nose kind of cracks back out, and you kind of- with his hands together and puts his puts his knuckles she, on She his needs head. it as well. He kind of narrows his eyes and looks to, to Euphoria, then looks to Panic, then looks to Euphoria, then looks back to Panic, <laughs> then narrows his eyes and looks back to Euphoria, then looks back to Panic. This is my mom. Mm -mm. <laughs> he just kind of nods. <laughs> uh, and very gently, like, just kind of touches her face, and that's another slot off of that. <laughs> I get, a I get the fucking chest around my head, she gets a boop on the nose? Well, he likes you, so he's more rough with you, because it's pretty <laughs> That's what I... Hell yeah, all right. That's, that's, he knows. He's got a good gauge here. You gotta make sure it really gets in there. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get them through those scales, you know? Come on. Hell yeah. Uh, you watch as Doros kind of lifts up, and she's like, oh, much better. Thank you. Hmm. Seems you didn't really need me too much, Virgil. You've made quite a few friends on your own. <laughs> I sure have, but uh, it was all going towards looking for you, pretty much. Hey, Bonnie, do I find this necromancer little girl with the gazer familiar? Yes, you do. Uh, the robes especially, and the gazer. You, that was, uh, you saw her in that bar on the dock district. You assume illegally selling things, so mm. yeah. I just, I just eye her, and I'm just like, oh. Hey, well, uh, Borky, Borky. Why? What is it? Why? Why does she have that that flying thing? I thought those things were mean little gremlins. Oh, you mean peeping tom? You watch as Sebastian huh. kind of pokes around behind Doros. <laughs> Oh, yes, allow me to introduce our finest new addition to the guard. And he sweeps around and grabs uh, uh, the, the drow by the shoulders and kind of pushes her forward. And she's, like, holding onto the clipboard, pressing it into her chest. This is Skulk. She's our new junior officer. We're having her turn a new leaf and stop doing crimes. Uh, if you recall, your basement was occupied by a, a great gaggle of horrible villains and smugglers. Well, this young woman happened to have been part of those smugglers, and instead of sending her off to jail to rot forever, we decided, no, we shall not be that way. And with Brooke's inclusion program, we've brought her on board to be a mercenary for us. Isn't that right, Skulk? And you watch as she flips around the uh, clipboard, and you see a drawing of, of you guys, and a picture of, like, a really shitty drawing of Doros arresting all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, right, she doesn't speak common. So, um, we're working through that. Hmm. What does she speak? Uh, I believe the language of the drow? And he turns over to Grinelda, and she looks up, and she goes, under common. She looks back down to her clipboard, and she's, she's also writing quite a bit. Uh, I will cast tongues. Okay, you cast tongues. <laughs> uh, I, I pluck away on some strings on my new guitar, and that magic fills my throat. And I can now understand and speak with her. Okay. Uh, I say, hey. She kind of like like is shocked for a second and does like a double take and looks at you. Uh huh. Hi. You a necromancer? Hi. Hey, Panic Grimtongue, by the way. Hi. 
can of Grim Tongue. I like Hi. your jacket. I like uh, your jacket. It's really cool. Oh, well, thank you. It's Black Dragon scale. Oh, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> sorry, necromancy, you said? Got weird necromantic type. It's really cool. I love. I dig the style, honestly. I'm not a necromancer myself, but uh, if I were, I would probably wear what you are wearing, which is why yeah. I'm asking. I mean, these are the only clothes I have. I'm not allowed to be a necromancer anymore. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. Do they know that? Yeah. She points to, like, Doros. I mean, okay. it's not allowed. <laughs> it's illegal, apparently. Right. God, that I... A lot has changed since we left town, so I didn't know if, like, necromancy was legal now. That would be pretty crazy, actually. No. I I got in a lot of trouble for it, but... Right. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, this is me laughing. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, uh... So, um... If you ever need us, you can come talk to me. I can uh, do a little magic on myself. We can start talking to each other if you... Ever need something? Uh, also, stop I by the sweet dragon after work. She kind of cocks her head. Mm -hmm. What would I yeah. need? You're with the city guard. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> we help like, like that sometimes. She like she like looks to her gazer, this multi-eyed thing, and goes, "He's weird." She kind of goes back to drawing on the clipboard. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll just keep tongues up just in case. All right, yeah, no worries. Let's, let's head back to the inn. Well, it was absolutely pristine to meet you again. And uh, yes, if you need the guard, be sure to contact Welch or myself or Helena or anybody, but not Einford. He's left us. Well, not really left us. He got promoted. And you watch his, like, Doris kind of just grabs Sebastian by the mustache. And guy drives like, oh, yeah, yep. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Oh, jeez. Ow. Oh, that Deadly. seems worse. He's I'm gently leading him that away. That seems bitter. No, no, no. He's gently leading him. He's not being mean. He's just kind of oh, like okay, okay. talking. Yeah. I was yeah say, is easy. Doros getting more assertive? Ooh. No, no way. No. Doros is just kind of like, okay, you're done talking. Let's go. We got work to do. Uh, Helena, Helena kind of gives away. He goes, ah, it was very nice to meet you. And kind of nods towards Euphoria. And she kind of goes, you as well. And they all run off in separate directions, being members of the guard. Hell yeah. Home, gentlemen? Yes, home. We have a lot. We, I'm sure. Hel I'm sure Helena is. I'm not Helena. I'm sure. I'm sure Helga will talk us to death about the fact that we've been gone for so long. Oh, I got something for her. Wait, if we've been stuck in a time dilation, wouldn't that mean most of the stuff we have, have we aged? It's only been five months. Yeah, but it's still a valid question. I don't feel any older. To be I perfectly don't honest. We've been preserved um, for five months. Well, maybe it's maybe it was a sort of a thing like time was going the same speed for us, but outside, uh, it was going a different speed. So technically, we're not. We haven't aged, but everybody else has. I look up at the sky and I ask God, which Zelda timeline are we in? Oh God, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I if ask I had to if what Zelda timeline we're in. What's a Zelda? Uh, I'd, be, I'd be like, we're. We, we haven't aged, have we? We're not in timeline C where everyone lost and then we have to rebuild society again. God, that means we're going to have to do a Noah's Ark flood. <laughs> uh, it, it responds to you with timeless, tireless, token, taken. It says we're perfect the way we are. Excellent. Wonderful. All right. So you guys oh. set off in the city. Uh, the various different amounts of people kind of rushing to and fro. Eventually, you see the familiar sight of the blacksmith shop across from your Sweet Dragon Tavern. And as you guys approach, you do notice one thing as you guys are walking hmm. in the air. Uh, I would like to invite back Edward Bosco, Remy. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Did you miss me? A little bit. Oh, I did. Of Wait, really? Yeah, oh my god, it's Edward Bo it's, 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 it's Edward Bosco, the voice of Alistair from Hasbin Hotel! Did you really yeah. have to do that the yeah, second yeah, I came yeah. uh, <laughs> Really? Um, <laughs> why did you not enter him with hell? Oh! Oh, that would have been good. That would have been good. Because I was guys, trying not to be a righteous douchebag. Right? <laughs> That's not me. Uh, As you guys are, are walking through the city streets... Welcome back, Bosco. As you guys are walking through the city streets... 
Uh, you look up and you see a blue kobold riding on the back of a peregrine falcon griffin, currently yelling in all, like, it's so loud that everyone looks up. You hear yelling, jailbreak! And she's, like, flying across the air and following closely behind. You see the familiar sight of Remy Remus Carbo flying behind on his very royal griffin Volo. Close behind, Remy uh, Bon Ray has once again attempted to <sighs> jailbreak, quote unquote, from her position as a as a writer. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, can I at least catch up to the Griffin that she is flying? Uh, yes, I would like you to roll a uh, animal handling check here. Oh, also, great. additionally, uh, I need you to change your uh, roll 20 image here. I'm going to change it for you. So while you're rolling that, I will adjust okay. that there for you because you're okay. still an orc. Oh, from, while... well, you might have to refresh because it's uh, it's Remy for me. Uh, what we're going to have you do, actually. Oh, goblin, stop. You're biting me, honey. Um, <laughs> it's really hurting. Ow, it's really painful. Oh. I love you, but no. Um, what you need to do here is uh, go down to the, the chat menu. Okay. Oh, it's going to work. Hold on. Doesn't seem to I don't know. I don't know if he has... Uh, I'm kidding. The, I don't know if he has... I'm trying to get the picture to upload, but my computer is being really slow. Oh, man. Is, it, never not, going is it not showing you the right picture? Uh, is it's it not showing uploading. on Kurt's? Mm. Oh. Is it showing on Kurt's stream? Yeah, I yeah. see. I see your character picture. Is it, is it Remy? Is it yeah, Remy? it is. Oh, okay. Then never mind. I changed it long before. Yeah. It's, 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 it's me then. I apologize. Uh, uh, My bad. All y'all need to chill. All y'all need to chill, guys. We're back. Right. Hey, I'll do you one better. I even leveled him up when you weren't looking. Oh, wow. Thank you. He's level Ooh, 30 now. Uh, I need you to roll a animal handling check for me. Absolutely. This is a griffin riding check, right? This is a Griffin writing check. Yep. Hooray. Oh, I wish I had advantage. That's a 17. Uh, Bonre is still not very skilled yet. You easily catch up to her and you watch as, as Bolo like grabs her Griffin with the front talons because her Griffin is significantly smaller than yours. Yep. And you watch as he goes, damn it. Oh, come on. One day I'll get it. I swear on you. Bonre, how many times have I told you, please, a little bit of discipline. I think this is uh, number 24. 25. Ah, shit. Language! What? Where's the swear jar, Remy, huh? Can we, Just... can we see Remy? Yeah, you can. This How... is like right above the city. Remy! The fuck is happening? Remy! I'm look down. Do I see them? Oh, We're yeah, never... you see. You see Borky waving. You see all the rest of them down below. We're never going to get home. I'll press, the I'll press the digitation some sparkles that say Remy. <laughs> uh, Remy. Remy, wow, sword. Re all Remy these keywords. Is gonna, is gonna, Remy's going to tug on Volo to get him to land both griffins down on the ground near them. All right, as you, I'm going to say roll another animal handling check. Okay. But he's got a handle on him. 21. Very nice, yeah. Volo gently, almost like a helicopter, kind of hovers. People kind of make space for you as you land. You kind of just drop uh, Bon Ray's Griffin on the ground. You hear pop, piss, fuck, and she lands on the ground. <laughs> you land behind her, and she kind of scrambles from underneath her Griffin and kind of like dusts herself off. Uh, the rest of you guys see a blue kobold uh, female wearing like leather, sort of general leather attire. Uh, she's got this really sort of like radish look to her. Um, notably, over one of her eyes, painted is like this like red paint, almost like stained paint tattoo that kind of runs past one of her eyes. She looks like pretty sassy, um, and she kind of steps up and dusts herself off and kind of drags her griffin from underneath Volo. All right. So the good news that was better than the last time. The bad news: stop breaking the law. Oh, but it's all I know how to do. Right, we're working on that. I'm trying to give you the positive first, sandwiched with a little bit of criticism that I'm also going to say, you'll be doing a wonderful job watching your cursing until right now. So there, that's the positive, the good, the good, and then there's the criticism, and then I sandwiched it with another good thing. Could you please, for the love of all of the gods, give me a moment. What the fuck is wrong with cursing? Yeah, right. Is this the fame? Is this the fame that Alan asked Remy. a prisoner rehabilitation there's, there's system? Just the, this is the hello you say to your dilated friends. Well, I, for one, Remy, am shocked. I'm just kidding. Uh, Give me a hug. 
Remy is absolutely gonna run and hug the heck out of Borky. Ah, there you go. Oh, it's good to see you, Wait, man. Just, when did how did you did huh? how did I miss? What, it's been. Where were you? I just I don't know. But be careful. My you might get my dilation. You know, I'm sorry. You what? Distortion uh. in the distortion dimension for four, five months. I, I'm it's, well aware it's been five months. I thought you might have been dead. No, just just in another dimension. Oh, is that all? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what, I mean, what, you, Rebbe, you, the, literally oh, just a couple of days ago, got are, out. Are you all right? I mean, what what happened? Uh, let's just say it was worse than Turcadia. Wait, oh, there were, wait oh. with the werewolves and the vampires and all oh, that? It was, were... it was much worse. It was much worse, actually. How could, all right. Mm. Look, look, there's a lot to explain. Maybe if you got some time, when you're off the clock, we can explain it, but... You watch as Bonre yeah. has her arms crossed and is like leaning up against her griffin. Then she kind of turns to you, Remy, and goes, Wow, Remy, you got some weird fucking friends. Hey! Hey! All right. Hey! All right. You bet your ass we do. Bonre, <laughs> everyone has their own little troop that they go with. I've known them for quite some time. I don't criticize what you and Clyde do. All unless right. it's yeah, well. breaking the law. All right, so Remy, who oh, sets yeah. a child as this? <laughs> Wait a minute. Aren't, hey, aren't the... hey Bon Ray like looks to you, Greckles, fuck you. Hey, no, fuck all right, you! All right, listen, no, all right, Greckles, you're an adult. Stop it. <sighs> wait, all right, isn't, this, isn't this the one that re stole our stuff? Yeah, wait, I, I, I thought Re I, I, wait, hold on, I thought Greckles was five in bird years. No, it, oh boy. Oh, I've missed you. Um <laughs> right. Uh this, this blue cobalt is Bon Ray. Um you might know them better by their, their tag team name, Bon Ray and Clyde, the half orc, the pot. No, no, no. I'm the better half. She kind of cocks her head back. Oh, they're you're slower. Also the one that took, you're also the one that took our inventory. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, I did. She, she has done <laughs> quite a lot in her day. However, if you remember before all of you left, there was the suggestion of a Griffin Rider brigade, and through some negotiation with Brooke and his. Uh, his inclusion program, we have tried to rehabilitate some of the, well, less lawful well, folk well, that are looking to turn over a new leaf. Remy, if this bon Ray being one of them. Remy, if this keeps going on, you just gotta go into the, un just go underneath the city and just start handing out badges. Uh, we're not just taking anyone. We've got a Myself and Avery and Gregory okay, have okay. been screening so, everyone so along. Is, this, is the test like you put a piece of cheese on a table and say, don't eat the cheese, and you just wait till they do it? They're not mice, Borky. What They're people. I, Clyde would probably eat the cheese. If that we're right there, there right I, there. Yes, he probably would eat the cheese, but that's good initiative. Sure. Because <laughs> Barry just kind of, like, looks. Right. Um, I, I didn't mean to hold you. It's so good to see all of you. Oh, it's yeah, good to be back. Oh. Very nice to see you too. Uh, you guys Very look now back. as you see two more griffins appear and they land on the roofs of various houses. Uh, you see one, red hair, Avery. And you see an, a half orc riding on the back. They both lift up their goggles. Uh, the half orc kind of goes, Everything all right? Yes, uh, Bonre did quite well. Jailbreak! And he lifts up a hand. No, no, don't encourage. Uh, you, were, uh, you were doing so well. <sighs> Remy! Yes, Avery. You want me to take it from here? I can see that you're a. Uh, yeah, could you make sure that here? they get back to the stables without breaking anything else? Oh, I think I can do that. She yeah. Kind of lands down and she grabs like Bunray really not nicely, and Bunray goes fuck and just gets dragged onto her griffin. I told you, Bunray, I'm the easier one. You don't want her teaching you. I'll get out one day, old man. You want just she flies away. No, you won't. I, she should keep trying at least. Yeah, oh, she, oh. She's actually doing quite well, Clyde. As are you, both of you. You're, you're going to make oh. a great Griffin riding team someday. Oh, I hope. Thanks. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> now, remember, go. follow Avery, stay in formation. Right, formation. You watch as he like, takes off and his Griffin like crashes into like, this oh, sort of, like, no, no. wind directional oh. thing, and then he just keeps going in the wind direction that kind of crashes ah. to the ground. Oh. And like oh. Ben looks up and goes, Yeah, you're paying for that. I'm oh. well aware. Mm. Um, Oh. I, I say, I, Avery is to panic, you're the task, and that one is the Greckles. Are you, are you already trying to assign us roles that you have? Yes. I relate everything to my own personal experiences. Ah, fair enough. I did that with the last team that I worked with. That's fair. Mm. Last team? Oh, right. You've been gone for five months. I have stories. However, seeing as how I am currently off-duty... 
Oh, by the way, no longer suspended, if that wasn't obvious. Um, That's pretty obvious. That. Congrats to you. Congrats. Yes. Well, uh, I had something that Edward needed, and he has sway, and we negotiated. Right. We need to probably talk I'm, to I'm sure everyone's point. going to find us here now that the message has been sent out, so let's just go home and let everyone come to us. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Well, at yeah, least you didn't storm point. the gate like the jellyfish thing. Oh, oh Jerry. Right. You know Jerry. That was our end. Yeah, we know yes, Jerry. We know How Jerry. do you know Jerry? Uh, ta 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 I, 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 no, 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 no. I don't think you understand, Remy. Uh, Jerry knows us. All right? That's how it works. Oh, 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 oh I, yeah, my yeah. apologies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how, how does Jerry know you? We met That's him in the long... Underdark. Oh, oh right. Boy. I probably should have assumed that. Um... How about drinks? Uh, you haven't been to the Sweet Dragon in ages. That's true. Yes, I, I, uh, exactly five months, as a matter of fact, yes. It's pretty crazy. I wonder oh, what's well, changed. How about, how about drinks on me? We can relax. And... Well, to, to be fair, we don't pay for drinks at our own bar, but sure, I'd like money. I'd like to see my son, gentlemen. <laughs> that yeah. is also a thing, yes. All right. You guys approach the Sweet Dragon, and you see currently guarding the front, you see Lewistrog and you see uh, Naragin there. So at this point, it's kind of in the afternoon. Mm. Okay. Working you... hard. Hey guys. Um, oh, it's you. I'm back. Oh, hello, Lewistrog. Uh, not Lewistrog. Ah, Naragin smiles. Lewistrog doesn't smile. He never smiles. Oh, he doesn't. He can't. Even if he did, we can't see him. <laughs> yeah. We've been gone for quite some time, apparently, boys. Have we missed anything? Not that long to me. He kind of sighs low. <laughs> God damn it. All right, oh, I, clap my yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, I, I clap my hand on Louis Strong's shoulder and I just say, buddy. <laughs> this, this, party. This, this Louis Strong right here, he brings the sunshine every morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky Greco's just a prey to him every day. You're such a bright, shiny beacon of positivity. Ah, two, miss. Sco two scoops from this guy right here. <laughs> Borky's like shaking him and he's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Borky, you, you might want to lay off a little. Oh, I'd love to see everybody there again, you sexy dragon. Give me a hug. Oh, oh, thank <laughs> Sexy, thank you. He gets hugged. Oh, I can't believe you're probably still single. Borky kicks in the door and walks in. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. About we need to, I'm sorry. We need to fix No, him. no, about that uh, task. Um, <laughs> he yeah. kind of scratches the back, kind of runs his hands through his, his dragonborn hair. I just wanted to say... Um, Thank you uh, for um, giving me the suggestion of, of uh, speaking with Athena. Um, Hitta, <laughs> he kind of takes his two pointer fingers and kind of like smushes them together, and <laughs> oh. it's been uh, it's been kind of kind of kind of kind of nice. <laughs> I ca I kind I just like I I like take my fist and I like nudge nudge him on the shoulder or the arm and I go, well done. Uh, well, I, it's both you know. Uh, we're, we both are terrible, but it works because we're both terrible together. Though, notably, she's much older than me, uh, but that's fine. Uh, I'm sure that's okay. Uh, if but, you feel uh, it works, take the positives. Yes, yes. I'm totally. Mm. Mm -hmm. but I want to roll insight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ask you little matchmaker, you. <laughs> He's happy, Task. It's I'm 11. <laughs> Yeah, I'm helping everyone Arranging. else's love life except for my own goddamn one. You should quit being a ranger and become a love guru. <laughs> no, no, that means I'm cute. Dude, what are you, you talking about? I'm Cupid. Did did you you roll? Roll? Oh my god, he so is Cupid. Red bow and arrow. Yeah, naked, not. naked, not wearing yeah. pants makes sense. It is not showing up for me. Yeah, right it's now. not showing up for me either. Yeah, it's not showing up for me either. I rolled I, eleven. I am going to refresh. Kurt, don't refresh. I'm gonna refresh. Um, my internet's acting up a little bit. No, it's it's all of yeah, us. Yeah, all of us are okay. not seeing it. That it is. Yeah, because Connor's icon just changed for me as soon as he refreshed. Hey guys, it's me, Horace. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I will take your word for it that it's that it's an eleven. Um, Naragan is awkward. Um, so you get the sense that he is he is as smooth as the Rocky Mountains when it comes to romance. So being awkward about it seems to be just kind of par of the course for him. Dude, remember me when I walked into this fucking town? I didn't know jack for shit about social <laughs> encounters. This man can find out. <laughs> All right. So you guys enter into the tavern. The moment you throw open those doors, immediately your senses are hit. 
The sweet dragon has been upgraded. Oh. The inside now is more decorated. The the furniture, specifically the tables, are more robust and hardy. You see now the stuffed black dragon head of Arcanus hanging above uh, <laughs> the guy. tavern. Oh, yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> in particular. You see, yeah. you see that one of the windows has actually been done up in fully stained glass. Oh, it is nice. Almost- yeah, it is that that little stained glass piece you got from Sully Andrews. It's that, uh-huh. but redone and bigger in uh-huh. the corner of nice. the uh, yeah, in the corner of the Sweet Dragon. Uh, you see that there are hanging, sh- uh, almost like chandelier light sources that are made out of different animal antler uh, and bone. Uh, you see that the place is actually pretty busy. It has a pretty like usually you see maybe like two or three groups of people. It appears that the actual eating space has expanded, and it's pretty full. You see maybe, like, two or three spare tables amongst maybe, like, the 10 to 12 that exist within this this tavern. Um, as you guys enter in, you see the various different staff moving about. Uh, you see Skinny. You see Meryl. Uh, you see Helga currently, like, not behind the counter, but she's actually off to the side nailing something to the, like, to the wall, like a frame of some kind <laughs> to the wall. Um... And you also see Kiwi serving drinks to a gaggle of people. He's like, oh, well, here's your drink. Here's your lookout. Here's your that. Here's your that. And a stern of wine for the big guy. <laughs> Slides it onto the table. You see that there's a, uh, <laughs> you see that there's like a, a, a like a full orc just kind of like hunched over, just kind of like gently kind of sips it a little bit, goes, hmm, and then goes to drink it. And uh, as you guys walk in, what do you want to do? Form a line and tell us who missed us. <sighs> Uh, you if... watch as all the employees stop and turn and look, and you watch as, as Kiwi goes, oh, Greckles! And he runs over and just tackles you, Greckles. <laughs> you Greckle, watch... Okay. No, no, no. Let me do a thing. Greckles will pick him up and hold him under his arm and just stern walk to Helga. Oh, and just oh, in the oh, dead oh. end. Just, just, just. All right. As you, as Greckles, as you grab Kiwi and you walk over, you see Helga nailing up. <laughs> A fucking memorial plaque that says, in memory of panic, like, all your guys' names. And as you walk over, she goes, God fucking damn it! And she just rips the whole placard <laughs> off the walls and throws it to the ground. Oh, oh Helga! Helga. No, no, Helga, Come you look on. great! No, no, no. no, no, no. Wait, wait, no. A year at, I mean, we don't have to be dead. You can still remember us. No, Greckles looks her dead in the eye with, like, serious face. Helga! Greckles. He reaches, he reaches behind his back and pulls out the jar. And put and just slams it right next to her. Deep gnome wine. You are forgiven. She grabs it and slides <laughs> it towards herself and walks towards the behind the counter. Good. Made them. The placard is still on the floor, by the way. It's like a carved, like stained wood with like gold leaf put inside of it. It's really nice. What does that say, Panic? I mean, Can you read it to me? me? Uh, I sure can because I have the tongue spell active. Well, it's in common, uh, and it says, in memory, this tavern is in memory of Panagrim Tongue, Borky, Greckles, and Tass. Oh my god, what happened? Yeah, it, it says right, right there. Uh, Borky, I told you. I, I mean, we don't have... You were dead. Nothing, nothing has to have happened. We just, you know, they'll remember us. We don't have to be dead for I'm that. I'm glad you guys are back. You see Meryl kind of, like, as you turn around, you see Meryl holding a tray and kind of smiling. She looks older. She actually, her hair has grown out a little bit. It's kind of like, um, it's a little bit like, it's still short, but it's kind of like, like almost like, I don't know how to really describe this hair very well. It's almost like a really, really messy shortcut. Like she used to have the sides of her hair, like kind of shaved down, but now it's kind of messy around her. It's almost like a little bit like a shorter, like sort of mop, mop not moppy kind of hair now. Um, hmm. And she looks like she's grown a bit too. Like she's a bit taller as well. Nice. <laughs> been some time since you guys have come back. We thought you were dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, apparently a lot of people thought we were. If you would excuse me, Borky takes Tubbs off his shoulder. Tubbs will say hello to his god uncle, Mr. Borpington. Oh, Borky Mr. Borpington's out actually at the moment. What happened? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. It's it's a Hokest harrowing pretty soon, so he's preparing a bunch of catering for that. I see. The sweet dragon is hosting a table. Um was his idea. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's, that's fine. fine. I mean, okay, that's good. All right. Yeah. All right, Tubbs, I'm going to go get you some bread. Let's insert bread into you. Oh. Gre- Gre- Greckles lifts up his arm to grab Kiwi, who he's still holding. Can I be put down now? 
Oh, Kiri, I'm so sorry. I just... Oh, emotions. Oh, it's, been five, about... it's been five months. I've it's so been much five time. months. It's been five months. It's been five oh months. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought oh. you were dead. Well, honestly, I, I believe you weren't dead. But hell, I thought it. But yeah, I, mean, I kind of believe you were dead. But you've been gone for a while. Yeah, By the we... way, guess what? He kind of lists what? up. He has, like, he has like a little uniform that he's wearing. Guess oh. who got employed? Well, mostly by force. Basically, the big orc lady said she didn't want me to earn anymore, so she gave me a job. Well, well, I mean, not really, it's good to you. Well, not really, not really gave it. She's like, you're going to work here now. And I'm like, what if I don't? And she goes, no, you're going to work here now. And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I mean, it's it's better than being stranded, right? Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it is good to see you again. I'm glad you're in high spirits. Yeah, and he watches, uh, like, this, uh, these two doors going, oi, another ale over here. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll be right on it. I gotta get back to work. Nice seeing you, though. You look good. The feathers look uh, no different than when you left. I got. Oh, sorry, I gotta go. He watches you runs off towards the sturge at the corner of the of the room. Bounces off a fucking like wall like a pinball. <laughs> yeah. Folk. Uh, you see, also there is a uh, a person performing on your guys' stage. Uh, you see a construct playing a violin currently playing on the stage at the moment. Uh, I believe Borky and Panic would recognize this as Fret. The oh, uh, nice! Hey. Playing a nice little low, like, sort of relaxing tune while everyone else is kind of eating and enjoying. Uh, you watch as uh, as Skinny kind of grabs uh, grabs you guys, kind of by, like, like, each underneath the arm, grabs you Task and grabs you Panic, kind of brings you over towards Panic, goes, Well, bless my sweetheart, it's so good to see y'all again. It's nice to see you as well. Oh, you guys don't look like you aged today. Oh, I, I, have, I look over I have, at the panic. I have some great news. So apparently, y'all discovered the Underdark, yeah? Yeah. Well, apparently, for discovering that, you guys made a lot of money, which we haven't touched, but also a oh. lot of Alabastian credits, which, you know, Helga saying that you might be dead and all, she waited quite a while. We decided to maybe invest a little bit of it. And, uh, well, <laughs> you watch it, she kind of like, like shifts her foot a little bit. I'd just like to say. I can't wait for you guys to meet my hubby in the back. I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to meet you. Uh, would you like to meet him whenever you're ready? He's working currently at the back. Uh, more or less, uh, Helga decided that between, you know, new furniture and if wares and weapons, if you guys ever make your way back, uh, we brought on a blacksmith. So, you know, <laughs> yeehaw, y'all. <laughs> Greckles le leans over to panic. We really need to get her under contract. Who? Helga. Do we not have uh, under contract? I don't know. She's spending our money, man. That's 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 kind of messed up. You were dead. I did not know. And the, the place needed upgrades. I oh, apologize. Five, uh, but it five felt like months. It... I am more you than usually, certain. You usually come back within like two at most. So I apologize. Also, I had people send the sending spell. There was no reply. And scrying, no reply. So, mm, she kind of shrugs a little bit. <laughs> it, it is, I mean, it, sometimes those spells get fucky when you're in a different but dimension. To be, to be fair, in Helga's case, it, it just shows how much everyone here cares about you. Indeed. No, it is nice oh. to hear that. Oh. Bork, I would miss you. We, we would love to meet him, but first we need a drink. Oh, yes, of course. Whenever you want to. He's just in the back working. Borky comes out of the kitchen with just Tubbs. Tubbs's mouth is open, pointed up, and he's just slowly, a pea, just a loaf of bread is slowly. I'm it's talking sinking. just slowly sinking into Tubbs. My God, look at this. <laughs> and and uh, and then, can I? And, and uh, Borky grabbed a bowl. He placed a bowl now on the counter and puts Tubbs in it. Look at this. Isn't nature beautiful, boys? Must I look at it? Why did you get this back? Where, why, how? Hey, 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 hey. I will not have you speak to this holy artifact that way. The people of the Underdark thought this thing was a holy artifact of the surface. And they were correct. I they were they correct. Because he made a giant hole in the ground when he got sent there. After he got me up to the sky when we fought pirates and met Kiwi. We, oh, I remembered all that. I don't pour any drinks. He watches Helga like goes by and starts filling up some tankards. Table Eleven is there if you wish to sit down and drink. Just stay out of the employee's way. Oh, by the way, Helga, save that for a special occasion. You're the only one in town, possibly the above ground, that has it. I will keep this in mind, bird friend. Good Adieu. deal. 
I do, and you watch as her face jiggles and like strains a bit. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Just your glass wanted, shattering wanted, as she tries to smile. Oh, don't put, I want to yeah. insight. No, I want to insight oh, don't, that. Don't, stra uh, don't strain a muscle there, Helga. No! Oh, wait, no, that's investigation. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, insight, insight. Because so I'm actually better at that. That's a 21. She's trying, but it's painful. <laughs> but is it genuine? It's genuine, but it's painful. Okay. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's genuine, that's all I was really curious about. Yeah. You guys find your tables and you, you sit down with your drinks. Oh. Taz holds up his mug for uh, for a clink from everyone else. Oh, oh, absolutely lifts. To being alive, gentlemen. To being alive. To being alive. To being alive and to uh, pretty much accomplishing my live stream. Yeah, yeah, you watch as your mother, who's been there the whole time, just kind of enjoying the raucous yeah. behavior, kind of brings up her... Her drink kind of clacks it together. So, Mom, this is our tavern. It's nice. It's very nice. I like yeah, the steak. That actually makes me wonder. I built that one myself. Do we have an? Do we have any extra rooms, or what's gonna happen? I have a tavern. I usually stay at. Oh, well, that's Not fair. Really. Panic. That reminds me. I want to talk about the future. I suppose. Right. Um, we should probably get that taken care of. I believe me. I do not want to leave you again. But I know. I really, really. She kind of grips onto the cup. Need to speak with your father. Should I tell him you're coming, no. or should I leave that? You know, it'd be a big reality check. Order him a coffin. It's it's better to ask. For forgiveness than permission. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Uh, Mr. Right. Crimton. <laughs> right. Oh! Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, Remus Corbeau. I'm a friend of your son's. Uh, she she reaches out yeah. and shakes your hand. Pleasure to meet you. You're quite handsome. Uh, thank you. Uh oh. Panic, you found your mother. That's wonderful. Uh, yes. Sure did. It uh, was literal hell to try and find her, but. Um... <laughs> She sips her drink slowly, <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it, it's been quite an enlightening experience. So. Well, I'm very happy for you. Thank you. That being said, Panic, you've impressed me with what you've helped me do. Well. And how was that? Whatever it was that was affecting. She kind of looks side to side, you know who. It seems like you know more about it than I do, despite my connections to your grandfather. I feel like if anyone can unravel the mysteries as to what that was, it would be you and your friends. I'd she sort of nods. I'd hate to push this responsibility on you, but... If that ever happens again, we need a plan. I agree. <sighs> he tasks his uh, fingers on the table for a minute. And he nods. We're going to need some help on this one. I don't think the Grim Tongues can handle this by themselves anymore. I think this is bigger than us. Bigger than Chikai looks at you. Bigger than all of us. But I do not know where to start. But it looks like you, and she kind of taps your, your guitar, might have a starting point, or at least someone who can help you in the right direction. I think I know a guy. I don't want to stay for too long, given the circumstances and my... Mm. She kind of looks to you, Remy, a little bit. Crimes, arguably. <sighs> ah, those are self-defense. <laughs> Sure, yeah, totally self-defense, stealing someone's voice. Like he drinks or drank a Remy, little bit more. Wait, what? Remy, 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 what's what's the what's the what's the Jerry stiction of this of of Alavash? <laughs> what's the over under on stealing people's voices? <laughs> Look, how how about this? How about I didn't hear anything and you didn't say anything? But we totally said Stop. something. How no, about Borky? You stop I talking. I stepped on Borky's toe. 
Greco steps on his other toe. Now, all right, all right, Porky. When I when I say hello, Mr. Thompson, and step on your foot, you <laughs> snot, you smile and nod. Okay. So, uh, Mrs. Grimtong, self defense, then yes. Yes, totally self defense. She Rem Remy just winks at her. She gives a wink back. Don't do that. <laughs> what? What? You can't. You're the only one who's allowed to be charming in the Grimton family. Uh, it feels weird with the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, panic. To, to, be, to be fair, I panic. I, I see where you get it now. Uh, Bork, Borky just leans over into panic's ear. No it's, comment. But no, no, no. Panic, panic. He's fine. He's seven in bird years. He just looks down at his mug. <laughs> Borky, like, what do, I, what do I even say to that? <laughs> Greckles didn't hear that. <laughs> Greckles, oh, oh, Gre oh, I'll listen in for that. Panic's mom has got it going on. It's all out. <laughs> she's, she's already fucking downing the mug. See, the thing is, when they made eye, cont eye contact, I had the time of my life started playing. It was pretty crazy, actually. Right. No. Uh... I know this ain't the song, but I'm in love with Panic's mom. Euphoria finishes her drink. She just downs it. It's actually very impressive. She's just... <sighs> she puts it down. I hate to leave you now, but I'll stay in Elevest for a while if you want to talk to me. But um, I'm going to arrange some travel probably in the next couple weeks to leave and head to Tracadia. Okay. But you can mail me and I'll mail you. I mean, I have, I pull out the orb of sending and I just swirl it around like a fine glass of wine. We also do have the pseudo dragon uh, pen. Excellent. That's true. Yes, that's good. Well, I, uh, she gets up. I'll leave you boys to a party. I don't want to ruin it by, you know, sticking around. She kind of gives you a side smile, panic. Virgil. Yeah. Virgil, do not be a stranger. Mm -hmm. I, right, Panic, why don't you go outside and say goodbye to your mum all proper, like, you away from the boy's eyes. Mrs. Mrs. Panic's mum. Mrs. Panic's mum. Porky gets on his knee and kisses her hand. It was an absolute delight. Quite an adventure, ma'am. It was, it was really kind of fun. Music owes you a great debt. Thank you so much. She bows her head quite, quite respectfully. And she kind of walks towards the door. Do you join her, Panic? I'll, I'll get up and leave the table briefly. I'll keep my mug in front of my seat, though. Bor All right. Borky turns to Remy, but not you, Remy. You weren't there. I, I, I figured it's just <laughs> good to see you all alive. <laughs> yeah, I kind of guessed. <laughs> and, all right. But not you, yeah. Remy. You walk, with, uh, you walk with your mom, Panic, towards the door, kind of mm -hmm. stop short. She's got to... Reaches forward and adjusts your hair. It never does. It wasn't easy back then, and it's not. For... It wasn't easy back then, and it's not easy now. Feels weird that I was looking at you for most of my looking for you for most of my adult life, and now I have to just watch you walk away again. This time, it's not a goodbye, though. This time it's a see you again. I know. If you ever want me to visit, I can. I want you Once to I'm... visit all the time. Once I'm through with your father. <laughs> Don't kill him. Nah. As big of an asshole as he is, he doesn't deserve that. No, he deserves from what I've heard, From what I've heard, he's at least been trying to change his ways. It may not have been perfect, but he did take care of you. Well, I guess this is... See you later, then. See you later. And, uh, I pull her, into, pull her into a really tight hug. Yeah, she takes your head and she kind of presses it to her shoulder and she hugs you really tightly. I'm proud to call you my son, Virgil. I am. I truly am. Or should I say, she kind of, like, brings you back out and kind of pinches both of your cheeks. Pen it green tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of, sort of goes red a little bit and like. What? <laughs> also, be nice to that Helena girl. She seems nice. She is nice. I uh. 
you know what? We'll we'll talk more about that later. Um, uh, just be safe, please. I will be. Don't worry. Okay. She reaches over. She kisses you on the forehead. And you be safe as well. I'll try. No try. Just she smacks of... you on the shoulder. <laughs> Ow. All right. With this group, it's pretty hard, but uh, uh, for you. Take care. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> she leaves. Just sort of balls up his fist a little bit. And then just... <sighs> and he turns around and heads back to the table. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I am. She's... She's a strong woman. Well, and you're a strong guy. <laughs> you saw, This time you got yeah. to see her actually walk out, and you'll be able to see her again. I know. It's just strange. Feels like I barely got any time with her at all, and uh, apparently I've had five months with her. Well, not you necessarily. Hear... That's, um, the, that's you... the dilation talking. Panic, you hear a voice here. I go, sorry, again. <laughs> <laughs> I reply back and telekinetically, it's okay. Or telepathically, rather. Mm hmm. It's it's good to have a happy end, man. Those are rare. It's not quite an ending. You do remember what all she said, right? We need to have a talk with Edward and probably the city council as well. What's that, uh, thing, what what's that thing that is put in books that stops a chapter? A bookmark? Yes. Think of it as a bookmark. Then. Ink? Ink. No, that's writing, Borky. Ink. I'm staying with ink. Final answer. Greckles hits his drink hard. <laughs> so, if you don't mind my asking, speaking to Edward and the council is quite the task. No, pun intended. What exactly happened that requires such attention from so many high-level individuals? A great I'll, I'll, deal. I'll motion, like, with, with uh, both fingers to just sort of, like, bring it in. Be a little yeah. bit secretive about this. Task pulls out the scroll and shows it to uh, shows it to Remy. You see this? What is it? You see a uh, a very nicely written arcane scroll. Roll a knowledge arcana on it. Okay. Actually, Remy. Uh, I should be good at these, but I'm not. Fourteen. Okay, that's a teleportation circle. Right. Uh, it looks like some kind of uh, teleportation scroll. It leads to the Underdark, to a civilization that is actually very willing to become allies with the city. You you have a path to get back there by yes. simply teleportation. And I, also have, and I also have the blueprints to make one for the portal in town. So you're saying direct access both to and from Alavast? Indeed. Uh, he's pretty crazy down there, Remy. Right, like, yes, you should the, put that away, yeah, and yes, the council right, should see no, that. No, Remy, you don't understand. The sky is the ground. What? What do you... <laughs> You're saying everything is in from reverse? What the, from what we've gathered, the, the Underdark that we saw, at least, is pretty much directly below Alabast. Uh, but apparently you've been gone for five months, so is the Underdark specifically some kind of time capsule that time works oh, differently. No. That's, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not... There was, it was like a, it's, it's, like, it. it's like a thing underneath a thing underneath another thing. Remy, let, it, let me put it this way. We went to the Underdark and then to another dimension. I see. We specifically went to the realm of Discord. Oh boy, you've been busy. We certainly have. That's uh, where I found uh, my mother. She was trying to enter the realm of discord, and where I learned that I am... and be super hush-hush about this, pretty much directly descended from a devil who used to be a celestial of Librosia. You're just going to see Remy kind of wide-eyed and then slowly blinking. 
he's one like eye, great, one the other. He's like my great great grandfather, <laughs> like actually. And he's a douchebag who tried to kill us. Well, he's crazy. Oh, okay, so that is a lot to unpack. Moreover, moreover, you remember in Canary's Perch when we killed Athar. Yes, black, quite that quite well. Stuff, the black stuff that came out of him. The echo like substance that we couldn't identify, yes. It was down there too. How? Around, what is it? Ar around Omelet Ma. I don't know, but my theory right now is that it has something to do with Osterix. I wish we could identify it. I still can't understand what it could even be that it could animate a, a living form or at least pose as one and then become nothing. <sighs> Just like this bread. That, I assume, is why you wish to talk to him. <laughs> I, I assume that's why you yes, wish to talk to yes. him. Yes. Yes, Makes it sense. is. Uh, B Borky just has another More loaf in his hand, puts another loaf above it, and just keeps going. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's just this. Oh, oh, Where oh. is. Uh, it, it's, it's a. It's a big mess, and I, I don't want to burden you with all the details, but... No, it's, we're it's on fine. The Alabaster's had its own set of problems while you've been gone. Good and bad. Oh, uh, what happened? Oh, well, I, I guess I should inform you. You heard about the crystal, I'm assumed, from someone by now. We saw that. We yeah. seen it. Yeah, it was very strange. A, a few months ago, everyone sort of abandoned the area all at once. A couple people during one hour, a couple people the next hour, and then all of a sudden, just a collapse and the walls were gone and there was a crystal that it, it didn't make any sense the people just left for no it's seemingly no reason because they had things to do and then that happened so i don't exactly believe that's a coincidence i just don't know what happened to activate it were they compelled to do so or did they do this of like a sane volition everyone that was interviewed that i either spoke to or heard about said that they just had things to do how long ago was this when we left? It must have been a few months after you left. You've been gone about five months, so I'd say maybe two or three. Does that line up? Uh, I look to God. Does that line up in time with us actually, like, at any point when we were away? Uh, I mean, you guys were traveling for a while in the Underdark, obviously getting there. Uh, and then there was obviously the time in the Realm of Discord. Mm. But it, you wonder. Uh, roll an intelligence check. Let's do that. Cool. Thank you. Uh, my, sorry, I reset my entire thing, so let me get my no stuff No worries, I had to refresh, too, because my thing was, was... Uh, really straight cool. intel? Yeah, just straight intelligence, yeah. Here I go. It's kind of a tricky thing to 12. figure out. Okay. First of all, you recall when you were travel like, one memory that brings you back is when lies saved you from Stilhabity's realm. Hmm. Time got weird there as well. Um, so... There was a gap of time between when you guys... It wasn't so much the time when you guys were in the realm of Discord you're starting to figure out. It was more the time of how long it took you to get safely ejected from the realm of Discord back to the material plane. Mm. Is probably where the time sink came from. So it... It... it Maybe... It's like, okay, maybe it was when you guys, like, did a certain thing. Maybe it's when you guys came back. You're not sure. It's really hard to tell. Fortunately, there's no way we can actually tell. To, uh, especially with us being put on ice, there's no way we can tell if that has any time correlation with us. I think I think when it comes to all this, all this, all this time stuff and all that, I think Mister In In Robertson might know more about that. Yeah, he seems mm, like something. More than likely, it seems like something he would have a keen mem memory of. Sorry, it's yes, just, it's just, Edward would it's be just, your, your just, lead on that. It's just the bread won't stop going. <laughs> come on, bud. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> God. Well, don't don't stop us at the bad. What good happened in this town? Uh, well, the the fire giants were pushed back. I, I don't know if you were here when they started tunneling underground, but 
they were able to be stopped and are cornered now. It, I dare say that the tide of the entire war changed. Oh, that's excellent. How far back did they get pushed? Pretty far back. Not far enough to, to claim victory, but at least enough so that they're not going to be a problem anytime soon. Or at least I hope not. Can you make a perimeter now with uh, greater detail? We've at least been able to get back some of the land that they took, but I'm not as privy to the exact happenings on the front as I used to be. What about those dragon, those dragon dicks to the north? The uh, cultists. You, everybody will see Remy instantly get uh, annoyed, not at you, but at something that clearly happened. Right, I, Dracus is closer. Define the, closer. Uh, there's apparently a camp to the north, maybe the northeast. I forget exactly. It's been a while, but I was investigating a silver dragon king that was captured. I hired a mercenary team, and we set out to, to find the lost child, and, well, I ran into one of his goons, a green dragon. And Remy's going to reach into his pouch and pull out a tooth. Sorry, Needless yeah. to say, I'm... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you bring out this, like, viper-like tooth. It's just huge. Like, this is probably a young green dragon, you estimate. Needless to say, I made sure it won't be a problem again. However, we did discover that he <laughs> does have a base to the north, closer to Alabaster than we could have guessed. Tash just bites the bottom of his lip. And unfortunately, I couldn't get any more information on Winter. Believe me, I've been trying. I don't like that he's closer and closer. No, I don't. That, the fact that once upon a time, he actually... I hired mercenaries to spy on him, and what I got back in the mail was their body parts. Yes, well, I'll do you one better. It was a wave of an attack on the city. Minor, but an attack nonetheless. Thankfully, the Silver King's children were able to deflect it, but it wasn't meant to do anything other than to test our defenses. He's definitely planning something. I've been away from hunting him for so long, I don't know what he's capable of anymore. Well, thankfully, he hasn't made his move yet. And now that you're here, I have no doubt he'll be able to help us more than anyone else. Uh, you know him better than anyone in Alavast, probably. Task, think of it this way, man. Every step he takes is one step closer to beat him bow range. It won't be just bow, Borky. I will do things that are more than illegal by the standards of this city. This man needs to die by my hand. Well, I will make sure that any information I get goes through you, Task. You have my word. Thank you. Task takes it down, downs his drink. So, other than that, uh, you already know about Jerry. However, I should inform you that he became Solly's fourth warrior. So... That figure that one out. Sense. That's actually that's good. No, that was that according to plan. Sense. Wait, wait, what? How did you know about that? Yeah. So not only did you know Jerry, you knew that he was meant for Solly? Okay, let's 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 roll back a little bit. So this is how we know Jerry. The fact that we know Jerry is because we know Jerry from a story that Solly told us. And then we fa we found him, we put two and two together, and that's how we became allies in a way. And then we told him where she was, and he went on a little vision quest to go find her. And that's why he showed up at the gate, and why... Oh, that makes so much more sense. All right. Okay, well, good. So that is solved. Uh, you know about the crystal? You haven't seen Tent Town recently, the Tent District? Oh, no, we yeah. have, actually. Oh, no. Ah, then you know about the Double Tusks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, I assume what that I, was your uh, doing, Borky. You know what? Rare moments where I feel like I'm a, a guy who gets stuff done. And that was one of them situations that I handled. Yes, you can thank me, because it's my duty as an orc. He looks really off in the distance. Your well, hair moves just because you look down. He's <laughs> Huey grabbing his hair and moving it like, oh, sorry, and he runs off. Well, <laughs> as I told you after we defeated Astar, I have a lot of respect for what you were able to do. And it seems with the double tusks, you did it once again. So I'm sure all of Tent Town would like to thank you. However, Ilene is not too happy with it. They're not rejecting the proposal of them protecting Tent Town, but just know you probably shouldn't bring it up with anyone from the clergy. Okay, so I should def. So you're saying I. I need to just, to, like, quash this beef? No, uh, no, no, I am definitely mm. not saying that. I'm just giving you a heads up. Maybe no, just okay, don't bring uh, it up. Okay, so let's just agree to disagree on that then, Remy. Right. All righty then. Um, 
<laughs> yes, I think, well, you know about the, the Griffin Riders that I've been helping Avery and Gregory train. Yeah. Uh, oh. What else oh. is there? The fire oh. giants. I didn't want to ask Doros, but is, is, is Doros and Willow, is, what's going on with yeah. that, eh? They still together? It's been five months. Oh, you, the, the new cape and all, yes. He's, uh, he's looking quite fine. Mm. Dignified, even. Mm -hmm. I may have given him some suggestions on the cape. <clears throat> I saw that there's a there's a big push into letting a lot more folks into civil protection and other sorts of things. The new drow uh, woman who is now on team with Doros, I've actually seen her in one of the more shady parts of bars uh, on the uh, coastal I, side. I see you met Skulk. Yes, I've actually... In, in some small way, I tried to rekindle my common man with other kobolds and i saw her with the gazer thus my fear of gazers when we went down to the underdark yes i've interrogated skulk before before she was paired with doros uh necromancer by trade i believe mm -hmm. also part of the ring that uh helped capture our stuff and move it out as it turns out did they find the rest of it well i did some digging i met with a um I think they're called a Yagnoloth, is what Edward called it. Some kind of demon creature. Anyway, apparently they were the ones heading the ring. It was a different fiend that had our things, but anything we lost is long gone. The best I can hope to do is shut down the ring in Alavast, which I hope to do in time. Oh, I would have well. to speak with Quarion or someone, because I couldn't really understand Skulks. Only speaks under common, I believe. I wonder if... Hmm. I wonder if that helm is still around here, because that hopefully Zoltera has actually picked up common enough that we could try and use that instead. To what? To communicate with Skulk? I mean, yes. It, Why not? It's a well, helm of comprehend language. If, if you have it, it would probably work. My other thought was maybe taking her to Quarion, since I'm sure he speaks it as well. Hmm. Well, if you needed to expedite things, it's an option. That is very fair. <sighs> the poor girl. Apparently the poor? whole reason she got wrapped up in that is uh, she made a deal with the fiend. Apparently if she made a hundred necromancy scrolls, it promised it would bring her mother back. Clearly lying, no doubt. I just hope that we... Well, I hope we freed her from her, his grasp soon enough so that she can actually have somewhat of a normal life. It depends on how deep the pact might be, then. I don't know if it was a pact or an agreement, but... I have no doubt Doros is the right person to mentor her. And those he surrounds himself with. Meanwhile, way across the city, Doros standing randomly, <laughs> sneezes, cut back to <laughs> <laughs> No, he sneezes really loudly and his cape billows because of it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> But yes, uh, and um, you now know that Kiwi works at the Sweet Dragon. You can thank Helga and the team for that. I got forcibly employed! He runs oh, off. hello, Kiwi. I was uh, about to say. And I'm guessing uh, Scarborough succumbed to attrition in the tunnels underneath the city. Well, you watch just turn around. She's right behind you. Ah, damn it! She's wearing, like, all black clothing and, like, a veil. There's been a development. Do tell. Task. She grabs you by the shoulder. Uh. The rat. Hey. Hey, how are you? What do you mean? Uh, I washed my hands, cleaned no, them in uh, dirt and everything. I. He was in mid drink. <laughs> she pulled him away. Blah. The rats. Task. Table. The rats. Um, on that. Scarbles, please. I told you, please don't mention rats around me. Uh, uh, to Remish. Uh. They're gone. Why? How? I don't know! Are they topside, or do you think they're just underground? I don't know. Maybe they just, you know, winter's coming. Maybe they're going to, like, make a hibernation. I don't, I don't know. Uh, all right. Well, that project's out the window. But I'm sad, Task. Chubby Chester was so large. Task, hold on. Hold, hold the fuck up. Don't don't worry, Scarbles. I think I might have something to uh, tide you over for your next little uh, crazy escapade and collection. Oh, 
Let me rifle. Let me rifle through what I've collected in my travels. Oh, he watches the eyes just dilate like. <laughs> like All huge. right, let's let's see what I got. Oh, right, I have. Uh... Hmm. Mm hmm. Wait a minute. By the way, uh, I have the fucking isopods. Mm -hmm. You do, yeah. Don't... I'm waiting yeah. for you to pull them out. I'm just sitting here. Okay, yeah, I have, the I have Orb one and I have Orb two. All right, go for it, dude. Go, go, go. I, I task like just like un like feels around his body and he goes, oh that's right. And he like unstraps what looks like supposed to be a shoulder pad, but then it turns into two pill bugs. Oh my God, Roly Polies! <laughs> 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 now I'm going to now we obviously have space for them in the underdark. <laughs> I'm going to hold you very much responsible for the care of these two. I've actually found them. Quite the charming and very well put companions. What did you feed them to make them this big? <laughs> like they were like this. And... Greckles does. Greckles does a hard look at Task. Are you sure those aren't invasive species? Shut up, it's fine. They're gonna be when I'm done with them. <laughs> and she takes both of them under her arms and she like starts descending into a hole. There, deed's done. Ah, we're out back up. Ah, that's the last we've probably seen of all that shenanigans. <sighs> yep, Ta Tash just like collapses. Is she wearing a Tash claps his hands, returns to his seat. Well, morale's back up again. Was she wearing a funeral dress? Yeah, she was. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just, I'm just uh, happy you could all see we, Scarbles too, so I know Scarbles is real. We don't ask questions. <laughs> hmm. Right. Um, oh, there, um, there, there, there is one, other, well, two other developments, one very specific one you might be interested in. Um, number one, if you are going to speak with the council, be very careful. You remember the parrot and spies we learned about? Yeah. Yes. No. So no update on who or where they could be, so just be very careful who you talk to. Ah, be callous. Got it. Yes. Uh, number two, um, Solly was proposed to. Oh, Greckles just immediately perks up. Brooke finally took the plunge. And what did she say? She's deliberating. Ah, uh, deliberating. It, it's a very complicated situation, but... How public was the rejection? There hasn't been a rejection, although news spread quite quickly. Uh, I'm pretty sure not a yes is a no. Were they even dating before? Uh, it, look, I I promised Brooke I wouldn't speak about the intricacies. I just figured you should know because it's become public knowledge. Hmm. Uh, I see. Well, well, stupid Asimar things. It, again, it's a complicated situation. There's a lot of good she could do by burying him, but as we've seen with their relationship, I don't know how much intimacy there actually is. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't help but feel like you should be in love with the person you want to get married to, right? I don't necessarily disagree with you, but coming from my background, I also understand the other end of the coin, and thus her dilemma, and what she deliberates as we speak. Greckles actually gets up and leaves. Oh, he's, God. He's, 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 going, he's going to the front bar. Bye, Greckles. I... Uh, Oh, Would you excuse me for a moment? And Remy's gonna get up and follow. Oh no! no. Deliver you. You would guess that this is probably all the info he has that you don't. Mm. Oh, that's pretty awkward. It says Kiwi as he just reveals your guys' dream. God damn it! <laughs> Ki Kiwi is officially the new Scarbles. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, but we already have. We still have. But we except, still have. The old except instead of Borky, it's gonna be Greckles that's gonna be like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, Remy is going to sit next to oh. Greckles at the bar. By the way, Kiwi. Oi! God damn it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Can I, can I talk, talk to Kiwi? Talk! Oh, okay. Talk! Okay. Kiwi, this... This is Tubbs. He looks like me! You know, <laughs> and he just kind of jiggles a little bit. He's <laughs> French sticking out of his... Ass squints, looks at his drink. How many have I had so far? <laughs> now, this is Tubbs. Now, you may not remember Tubbs, because through Tubbs' love of me, he helped me get on your ship where we betrayed you and destroyed your life. Oh, right, when we shot you all! Yeah. Wait, oh, yeah, my life. Oh. Yeah. 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 Panic holds his, holds his chest for the bolt so, wounds. Where... So here's, here's the thing. 
I go on many's adventures, and sometimes I'm gonna bring Tubbs with me, but sometimes I don't think Tubbs should come with me. So if I am not here, I will pay you one gold piece a day to take care of Tubbs and insert no more than ten loaves of bread inside him. Well, that sounds like a good deal. I can yeah, do that. Let's, yeah. sh let's shake on it. All right, his little Tash, arms. Tash grabs Kiwi down. by the shoulder and pulls him over. Oh. Do not, do not understand the curse you are bringing upon yourself. I shall be fine. <laughs> Come on, Tash. Come on, Tash. 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 You got yourself a deal. Yeah, all right. There we go. There we go. Your hand, no. your hand just poof, engulfs. Tash. His hand is like tiny. <laughs> It's like you just see feathers sticking out from the hand, the fist Borky's making. Yeah. Task, Skip looks over at Panic. I give him a week. Hmm. Now, right. Kiwi, insert Perfect. bread. A lot. <laughs> Almost like like a servo sound as he pushes a loaf of bread into tubs. Meanwhile, oh. at the at the bar. Where does he put it though? In his stomach? On his in his mouth? <laughs> Meanwhile, at the bar. <laughs> Man, at the we bar. See, 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 see the see thing. Is, see the the mm. thing is, Zeno. See, you see, you know, when they do, like, all right, and now we're ending the scene. You gotta let him do it. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't. He's like, I'm not done with this scene yet. Where does it go? It's not over yet. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what is Greckles doing? Is he just staring blankly off into space, or is he actually? No, just... no, no. Greckles still has his cup, but he's like, it's it's on the counter. He has his hands like each each beside it, and he's just staring into it. All right. Well, Remy is gonna walk up with his drink, uh, and put it down on the counter. So I did owe you a talk before you left, and I feel like this might be an opportune time to have a conversation. Assuming oh. you're willing. Good a time as any. So, what are you thinking? I'm just a giant mix of feelings, Remy. I, I, I think of my life here. I, I think of my life back at home, back when I could call it home. I think about the people I left there. I, I'm just tugged all over the place. And I'm trying to look for some kind of sign, you know, <laughs> of, of what I'm supposed to do. That's been the hardest thing so far, and I don't know. I've had thoughts about Sully. I felt like I had a good connection with her, but I know this is for the best. I'm not saying that I'm trying to... Gods know that that's the last thing I need to be doing. But I just don't know how to feel about a lot of things right now. It, do I hold it? Remy, do I, do I hold out hope that the impossible happens and I can see the person that I first fell in love with again? Or do I try to move on? Or do I just let it all go and just let fate decide? I just... There's so many things. It's the same person you mentioned when I lost Volo. The, the woman you loved. You told me that story. Yukiko, yeah. Yes. How long has it been since you've seen her? <sighs> years. Several years. Probably a decade. It's been a very long time. And she's in the Eastern Isles, or you don't know? I don't know. I like to think that she is. That she's safe. I like to think that the tribunal didn't do anything to her after they kicked me out. But I don't know. And I don't know how to contact her. All I have left of her is, well, that fan. Which is why I don't take it out anymore. I can't, I can't let that little piece of what was go. It, it, it's too hard. I'm just going to put a, a clawed talon on his shoulder and just kind of hold it there. Greckles, it's impossibly tough for me to give you any kind of advice simply because there wouldn't be any consequences if I told you to do one thing or the other. All I can say is 
If you keep looking behind you, you'll miss everything in front of you. And I'm not saying what's in front of you is Salty or anyone in particular, but if she is safe in the Eastern Isles, I hate to say it, but your life is an alabaster now. You're, you're so tied to this community and the people that are in it. This is where you need to put down your roots. And if she finds a way back into your life, that's wonderful. Whether that be as a romantic partner or just as a close friend, you'll never lose that connection. But that doesn't mean you should deny yourself the chance for intimacy here. That's not moving on, that's just evolving. You're never going to forget her. You always have the fan, you'll always have the memories, and maybe one day you will have her. Hmm. But just stop looking back is my best advice. I guess I'm just afraid that if I keep looking forward, I won't see her trying to chase me down looking behind. Maybe that's a foolish errand to think. I don't know. Leave, bre leave breadcrumbs. And she'll find you. Yeah. Freckles. Yes. You hear a voice in your head. Uh. Freckles. It's Solly's voice. You're back. Oh. I I'm okay. A, a flump. A, a flump came. When you can, please come and see me. No rush. When you can, there's something. And it cuts out. This is very clearly a sending spell. You oh, may God. Reply, you may reply with 25 words of your choice. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Start counting. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys do things while I figure that while, Actually, while I type I, this out. I'm gonna say let's take a break here. Perfect I timing. There you go. Okay. Yay! Hey, hey, uh, let's take a break. Hey, I'm gonna talk back. to the chat. Oh, talk we're to back. chat boss. Talk to chat Bosco. I will Hi back. guys. Can you give him a Why, hello there, everyone. There you said 25. Hello. There, I did the thing. Thank it, you. Guys, is it 25 words? I. I 25 words. 25, 25, yes, 25. 25 words. Yes, 25 words. Which is quite a lot. Yeah, I know. I've, I've missed you guys. You oh, we missed you too. Aw. What the fuck? We saw him like seven days ago. Yeah, well, but that was you. Yeah, but I was busy murdering things in an orky rage. <laughs> that was a fun time, not gonna lie. That was amazing. That last session was incredible. I was really scared that you were gonna start getting like chaos corrupted. I mean, I was totally prepared for it. I was like, well, I'm about to just, like, Corn is just going to be like, you are... Because I actually think, like, Corn has, like, an orc, uh, like, guardian. Like, a dude who was stuck in the warp forever, and he became so good at killing chaos demons that Corn was like, hey, you, I know you're an orc, but, like, come work for me. And he just guards him now. Probate with a thousand bits saying, can't wait for Bosco to get sent back into the closet by the end of this episode. Thanks, Probate. I missed you too. It's always a pleasure. But yeah, I've missed all of you. And to all the haters out there, well, I'm back. <laughs> but what if what if we're haters of of your 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 persona, of your heel, of my heel? Oh, then you, that means I'm doing my job well. Uh, you do it super well. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm doing nice. good, Rondome. Thank you for asking. Question for Gaijin if he'll answer, but has Greckles uh -huh. ever considered using the orb of sending to contact Yukiko? I've talked to Mani about that, and I don't... The, the thought has crossed my mind, but there, there's, there's things. <laughs> there are things. Uh, Zapperman, one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. So glad I get to watch this live. I missed everyone and to a lesser extent, Bosco. Thank you, Kerfluffle. I appreciate it. Uh, Ed Super with 1,000 minutes. Jesus Christ, Bosco. That scene with Remy and Greckles made me tear up. Legit went through a that a couple months ago. What Remy said was the same advice I got. Aw. Well, first of all, I'm sorry for the heartbreak, but I'm glad you had somebody there to lean on. That's always important. Sorry. To have. I'm officially in chat now. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, but yeah, I'm glad. It, uh, I don't know if you know this, but Gaijin's a pretty good actor, despite what he'll say, so... I'm glad he was able to help tug at the heartstrings. Sword Fanatic with a thousand bits. Glad to watch live starting a new job. Wish me luck. Good freaking luck. And remember, you're never fully dressed without a smile. There, I did the other line. There, uh, Bosco, I was my favorite radio demon. Doing good. Can't complain. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 bits, I think. Goomba knows I've been binging from the start, and I just finished episode 32, says Axion Bastard. Oh, nice. Yep. Uh, I'm going to script Grizzly Adams because he's a jerk. Um, this welcome session is going amazing, and having Bosco back is the cherry on top. Thank you, the Citric King. Uh, your check's in the mail. Uh, how's that big money? How's that big stream money, booze go? I mean, I don't... <laughs> I'm not I'm not like Kurt or Gaijin or Zito where I get hundreds of people flocking to my channel. So it's going all right. I mean, people tolerate me playing sports games, so I appreciate that. Uh, Cake Boss says, I'm enjoying Bosco, you goof. How goes the real Borb hours? Good, I think. Uh, it's been one month since you looked at me. Oh, sorry. It's been one month since you suplexed me. Uh, cocked your head to the side and said, I'm Orky. Oh, gosh, it is a play on words. I got my <laughs> chip from Japan. Ah. Hello. I'm back. Hi. Welcome Hooray. back. Super Bowl interviewer voice. Bosco, you just paid off three acres of emotional payoff. How do you feel? Man, I feel like I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> now I just, I just made money. 45 bits from cool shirt guy Bosco. I hate it when you're gone. Aw. Elated Megaloladen. I screwed Megalodon? that up. 100 bits. I know I'm going to hell, but I wish there was a clip of the Radio Demon voicing the Hindenburg disaster. That would be terrible in all of the best ways. Uh, trainer Shoshiro with 200 bits. So glad everyone's back, especially Bosco and Monty's extraordinary DMing. Oh, I got put in the same category as Monty. It's appreciated. I return. Uh, Dazzy Head says, so like, can we say we knew Bosco before he was cool? Wait. <laughs> they think I'm cool. Uh, you did some pretty amazing voiceovers for a lot of great characters so i think you were cool before we knew you uh, that's that is also fair uh 500 bits from sam doehart love you and everything you do bosco remy is wonderful alistair is amazing and you just make me laugh every time keeping awesome thank you i appreciate that uh my lord veritas bosco did angel dust actor improv that line you broke out laughing and that's why they showed a picture of alistair with broken glass behind him one two three four five hundred bits uh i don't remember which line you are referring well, to what do you do my feminine fellow may i can suck your dick oh no that was scripted that was absolutely scripted all of that was scripted the response everything was scripted however because i had a general idea of like what angel was supposed to be i knew exactly how he was going to deliver that line and so i just had to play off of what i heard in my head so yeah mike's awesome he's a freaking amazing angel does so that just made my job even Yo, Bosco, easier can i just like be fucking real with you and say yeah. like holy shit can i just say you're vaudevillian fucking voice acting is astounding and i love it well i appreciate that because i was super terrified nobody was gonna like it mainly because i was scared that the effect would would ruin it because they told me they were gonna put a radio sound effect i'm like that's a really cool idea boy i hope it doesn't annoy people and turn them off completely no they they, they did the thing where it's just like it starts a little bit kind of like fades out and then it gets your real voice for like a hot second and then so comes back like, in which is amazing yeah, it's a good yeah, idea it adds, it adds to it Oh, mm. also, I posted in our chat the artwork I did of um, Bon Ray a long time ago. I was ago. about to say, is this the sassy child? Uh, yeah, that's the sassy child. I drew her, like, Duh. to give you guys context, she's from the, uh, she was an enemy in the, the private game that I played that wasn't streamed. They arrested her and Clyde and everybody else. They didn't kill them, so. Ah, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zeon with 95 bits saying, hi, Bosco, that advice was helpful from the trip in Chicago. Oh, I'm glad it was. Also, holy crap, it was cold. Yes, welcome to the Midwest. Finally, yay, Bosco is back in Unexpectables. Give him a bland hand. Thank you. Uh, Wolven the Sixth with a Tier 1 subscription, their fifth month. Uh, glad you guys are back. Hope Monty had a good break. I did. I had a really good break. Yay. Oh, Monty, did you get the thing? Yes, I did. Thank you. Okay. You're yeah. welcome. Uh, Nettle Norseman with one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. I'm so happy you guys are back. Even Monty with... Uh, Annie Nut Propaganda. So oh, anti-Nut Propaganda. Anti oh, it says Annie, but... No, not yeah, November. Oh, Hail no, Mr. no, Peanut. that's something else. No, I have, I hate nuts in pastries. Oh, Monty, can we tell the story? Go ahead, you can tell it. No, no, you bread. no, you need to tell it. It was your stream. I just want to know if you can tell. <laughs> I'm eating bread right now. Without All right, so we were, we were in Monty, we were in Monty's stream. We, we were on our airship having a grand old time, having a nice adventure in Skies of Arcadia. All of a sudden, she starts going off on how she just fucking hates nuts. Not nuts individually, but nuts on anything. 
And as my grandfather owned a pecan orchard, I was naturally offended. And it just turned into this big whole thing, and it hey. was glorious. I am back. <laughs> Welcome uh, back. Uh, odd, uh, have you been calling out the bits? Oh. I have. And real quick, Lasume the Robot with 100 bits missed this stream. I welcome back everyone. That includes you, Bosco. Well, thank you, Lasume. And then we also have 1,300 bits from Veraltech. Glad it's <laughs> back. I'm in a campaign where my character is a half-elf wizard. That is Big Mood personified, and Dynamite is a Goliath druid that kicks down doors for stealth. It's been very fun. Him. Remember, the key to being stealthy is don't move. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for reading out everything. Dude. Yeah, no worries. I figure All you right. might as well save your voice while you're getting help. <laughs> thank is, you. Is Zudo back? Do we have Zudo back? He's yeah, here. I've been here. All right. All right. I think I'm ready to go. Nut. Yeah. Yep. Nut. Oh. Nut. <laughs> 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 Only good when Connor. Connor does it. I don't know what. Because he's good at it. That's what it Guys, is. Guys, I'm going to hit the nut button. You just watch. Slam it! Mm, nine. <laughs> oh, wow. It was indecisive at the beginning one. there. <laughs> oh, I, I think I got to change the battery. I think you kick out. <laughs> so, right. uh, Go ahead, wanna, Monty. Do you want to say your message out loud, uh, Gretel? Uh, no, actually. Let's make it a surprise. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, did you send it to Monty at least? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, oh, okay. I have it. I am responsible. All right. Well, after oh, that heartwarming moment. <laughs> what would you guys like? You have a lot to look into if you want to. We do. Uh, let's check out this new hire that was behind our backs. <laughs> what time of day is it? It's like starting, like the, the sun's starting to dip down. I'd say it's probably okay. like eight o'clock at this point. Not with uh, savings time. I'm a yeah, Skinny, I'd like to meet your husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you like to meet Fluffy? Okay. Oh, well, I hope... Oh, bless your hearts. All right. Now, I want y'all to be extremely prepared for the greatness that is my husband. All right? Man, I can't wait to okay. have my fucking uh, Bork expectations converted. Borky leaves uh, tubs with Kiwi. All right, Kiwi, just like just like, like a conveyor belt. Just like... It's just adding bread over and over again. Has this thing breathed in the past, like, 15 minutes? <laughs> Probably not. You gotta understand, it's so fat that its actual skin follicles uh, actually allow air to seep into his body. Yeah, it's like a frog. <laughs> you guys collect your things, group up, and you guys make your way to the back courtyard, which has been revamped. It has been completely cleaned. Oh, a lot of the old scaffolding that's been holding up parts of the building has been replaced. Uh, there is a well in the back now that actually has water drawn. Um, there's like hanging clothes and things, like rags kind of hanging on a, on a drawstring across. Uh, you see perched up top of the, uh, the temple to Oriara, which has not changed at all, uh, mm. that same weird gargoyle that appeared out of nowhere, uh, uh, currently okay. hanging out up there, completely stone. Uh, but eventually you see off as you exit out the back of the tavern to your right, uh, nearby the bathhouse, you hear the sound of metal hitting metal, the sound of, of clanging uh, and you see the light glow of a forge as Skinny kind of takes you guys by the hand and goes, Come on! He's so excited to meet you! A fluffy! Fluffy! And you watch as she kind of pulls back a curtain. And you see, squeezing through the frame of this very compact blacksmith shop, this character. Oh God, we have art. Oh, yeah, of course you have art. I hope he has a hat like Doug Dimmadome. Question: Monty, would Remy have met this person while he's been in and out of the Sweet Dragon? Probably at any point? not, because he's okay. been in the back working. Fair oh, enough. Owner of the guys... Dale Dimmadome. I know him only by rumor. Oh, oh yeah! my God! <laughs> oh Lord, I'm he's immediately coming. intimidated. <laughs> oh Lord, oh, he's coming! Oh my God! <laughs> Fucking oh. incredible. Monty, why did you turn tubs into a cat? Ma Monty, please describe what we are what we why we're seeing you a character see, from Fievel Goes West. You see <laughs> emerging from like almost like like filling in the space of the door frame and then like coming out and everything just kind of fluffs out. You see a palace cat tabaxi, which by the way, Google Palace Cat, P-A-L-L-A-S cat. Tabaxi. Oh, I know what those things are. Yeah, wearing a long apron, and you assume he's wearing clothes, but it's hard to tell. Um, and you see him walk out. He's got a uh, kind of blinking one eye after the other. He's shorter 
Uh, he's he's shorter than you, Borky. Uh, he's maybe slightly shorter than Panic as well, but he's definitely taller than Greckles and definitely taller than Task. Uh, Skinny is taller than him as well. Skinny comes over and goes, this is my husband, and then she goes to hug him. She just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I'm afraid this man would like at one one time one point in my night appear in Tass's room and try to rip his head off and eat him. So Monty, <laughs> if he doesn't either grunt or sound exactly like Arkov, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and salutations, all. Greetings and salutations. I'm making things. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> meet me. Oh, yes! thank God. Yes. <laughs> Oh, please, gives you please, please sagely me... nod. Skinny, I know why you love him so much. No, I still have I still have tongues activated. <laughs> you too, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just give me an urn hern from this man. Urn hern. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, but I'd like to. Red Dead don't... Redemption 2. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Greckles' feathers are starting to poof up a little bit in fear. Ah, um, yes. Gr uh, greetings, Fluffy. Uh, Remus Corbo, a pleasure to meet you. I've, uh, I've heard a lot about you. I guess was told not to come back here and uh, bother you. Yes, you're... Giant bird. <laughs> he just kind of reaches out. And Jack Schoen, what did you say? <laughs> giant bird. He's a giant bird. Giant bird. <laughs> uh, yes, a uh, pleasure to meet you. Um, man, a table gives... man talking about that dang old man. <laughs> <laughs> He gives he gives you a solid handshake, like yeah, a couple of working yeah. man's handshake. A couple of birds came Why up to the black Why did you put my dad in the game? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Panic is so triggered. First his digital mom, and now his real dad. I, to people on the podcast, I cannot overstate how much of a chonk this guy looks. Can like. we make this? Can we can we make this guy like the art cover for the podcast? Is that a <laughs> thing? <laughs> no, no. The, the, better, the better question is why has no one drawn him as my neighbor Totoro yet? <laughs> Because they've just because they've just now seen him, but I that's, guarantee you that's that was not more happening. than enough time for most artists. <laughs> wait, what is? What is wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Where did Citric by, King go? By the way, Citric King did this art. Thank you so much, uh, Citric King. Oh my Citric. God, this looks amazing. Of course, Citric. Citric did this. It was either him or Bracky. I bet his AC uh. is like fifty. <laughs> no, his AC is nope. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They've never gotten to it yet. Monty, right. does he look like he's working on anything in particular? Uh, it looks like he's working on, his, uh, actually, like, His cutlery. waistline. Like, he's working currently uh, on, like, a like a butcher's knife. He's actually, like, making knives right now. In the back. So you see, like, a big meat cleaver. You see some really, really nice mm. cooking knives. Food making. <laughs> I like this guy. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, this guy gives off a pretty good energy. Oh my fucking god! I can't! I can't! And uh, I, I've, I've come to learn that uh, you were in the Chicadian, uh, the the Chicadian uh, crafters guild. No. Yeah. What <laughs> kind of things did you make? Um, horseshoes. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, swords. Mm. <laughs> oh, did you, you uh, did swords you... as well. My, my, I, I'm so happy I met you. My brother, my brother is actually a, a blacksmith as well. Uh, brother. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, I'm sorry, were there any words in there? Or was that just a grumble? If, uh, if I, yes, if, just a grumble. If I I'm so hung up on food making. <laughs> food <laughs> making. <laughs> if, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fluffy, if I free you, will I be granted three wishes? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you say that? Do you, do you do you say that in character? Do you say that in character? No, I don't know if I should or not. You definitely yeah. shouldn't, but that's never stopped you before. <laughs> have you um, have you ever come across a man by the name of uh, Sergey Vathers? No. Oh. Oh well. Well, never mind then. 
he kind of <laughs> leans over. He kind of leans over, <laughs> spits on the ground. Hey Monty, can face. I can I roll an insight just to see if we're annoying him at all? Go ahead, yeah. Okay, because I just want to know if we're at fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, <laughs> wait, dice. Because I feel like there's a certain limit to the amount of words we're allowed to make him say before he's just gonna sit on all of us. <laughs> it's like a data plan. If you go over it, you're paying a hefty fee. <laughs> and oh lord, it's hefty. He doesn't seem annoyed. He just seems not very talkative. Um, he doesn't Fair seem he's very neutral about this situation. He's happy to see Skinny, though. You do get the sense anytime he looks over to Skinny, his eyes. Can we talk about over. what's on his blacksmith cape? <laughs> yeah. To, to everyone on the podcast, need to know what's on his blacksmith cape. I imagine his eyes don't change, but he just gets a little tiny smile. Yeah, a little tiny oh, smile whenever he looks at Skinny. Uh, his his apron says number one husband with paw prints all over it, and he's got some patches on it. I just really want to see how many like beverages it would take till he gets drunk because I don't think there's enough alcohol in Alabama. This man's con mod. I I think Tubbs his has con mod, mod is yes. <laughs> it's all fur though. Uh, wow! Is once this... again, I am joined by Catman. Catman. <laughs> he's what a camp man. Do you, yeah, you, do you guys do you guys realize that we could easily have a competition? Of character yep. yeah oh do you understand God. we're never gonna leave a conversation with this guy because we love him <laughs> i know <laughs> it's true but there's so many things to do uh i understand uh you've been taking on the czar uh, personal blacksmith is that that's correct <clears throat> making things <laughs> yes indeed yeah. you do <laughs> uh is there anything in particular like We've only just met you, so we'd like to at least hear from un our employees. Is there anything that would make your job easier or more comfortable? I love my wife. <laughs> and that right there is all we need to know. <laughs> uh, does she does she work for you? I I trust I trust this man I implicitly now. Uh, it, uh, your your wife, uh, you employ her, correct, gentlemen? Yes. Yep, that's me. I've been working here for uh, quite a while now, almost a year. <laughs> Time flies. <laughs> it sure does. What do you think of my husband? She like leans over and like kind of smushes his cheek, and as she like presses the face, and it just like disappears. Like it's like <gasps> goes away into like, another truly, room. Truly, the yin to your yang. Oh, I don't know what that means, but it sounds nice. Borg, how do you know quite, what that means? I will be quite uh -huh. frank. I will be quite frank, sir. I don't as you say it. that, as you say that task, you hear the sound of gravel me as the gargoyle turns and looks. Uh, his, name was, his name was Frank. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. No, 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 it didn't miss. I said, God damn it, under my breath. Oh, okay, I didn't hear you. It was just silence. I felt awkward, and I'm like, well, no, I, I said, God damn it, under my breath. <laughs> uh, I will be frank, sir. I don't often say this to a lot of other folks, but uh, you are an intimidating fellow. <laughs> Friendly guy. Do uh do you have a favorite drink or food? Milk. Of course it is. <laughs> We've well, got milk. If if there yes, uh please do not hesitate to uh speak to any of us. Uh if there is something that you need or if there's something that would make your work a lot easier. <laughs> Love my wife. And he just like turns around and goes back into the blacksmith. Borky, uh, they're, Bork, they're Bork, adorable, like sweet apple pie in the sunset over the back porch. Borky turns to panic and says, "I want to see him take a bath." <laughs> Borky, that is highly inappropriate. I'm not talking to I you, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tass I should like probably get back to work. If you need anything from Fluffy, just ask. He's really good at making swords. And making uh, the barons that you make, you know, the things they use, uh, Greckles there. Uh, he also has made mm. a really nice set of, like, nice, like, cutlery. And... Fluffy, are you capable of making arrows? I'm not capable of making arrows, and unfortunately my hubby can't. He can make arrowheads, but you'd have to get a Fletcher to do the rest. Okay, fair enough. No, we, can't, we, 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 can't, we can't get a Fletcher. Uh, Greckles changed his name. God damn it. Uh, I get it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Annie Hoodle, I better get back to work, much less I leave Kiwi on his own. Okay, I'm gonna walk okay, over to the garage. Go. All right, the garage. The shed. We have a garage. The shed. Oh, the shed. Hey, Task, is my car still in there? 
Uh, as you open up the shed, it is barren and empty. Roll an investigation check. Okay. Oh my god, my computer won't let me walk, look away from this man. <clears throat> <laughs> my, my computer, it's, it's frozen. I can't. Your I'm eyes are your, I, your eyes so are hard. like your eyes are like satellites, orbiting him. Okay. Well, what was the role to get investigation? Investigation. Yeah. Hung on that dang old hip. God damn. Natural twenty. Natural uh -oh. 20. There was a struggle in here. Uh oh. You see, on parts of the wall, there are like knife gouges. Uh, it looks like a large scimitar style cut oh you don't see any blood <clears throat> but you do see there are parts of the wall that have been punched out it looks like there was a fucking brawl in here but there's no hoss rod oh. and not a single snake to be found either gentlemen yes there was, a fight in here. there was a fight in here i mean it is hoss rod after all i point oh. out at all the all the cuts and all the bruises inside the inside here with the natural 20, you're able to determine that two large creatures fought in here. Not medium-sized. Two large creatures fought in here. Um, I'm gonna go ask Helga... Well, actually, hold on. Is there a way I can get up to Frank? Uh, yeah, you can climb the side. I'm, I'm heading on up there. Alright, you climb up. Bench to the side. Yep, and then I, I, make your I way tap, over to him. I tap him on the side. Welcome back. Nice to see you too. I have a question. You have you uh you've been guarding over this place, correct? Mm-hmm. What happened over there? There seems to be a sign of struggle inside the shed. Have you heard any strange noise, any weird goings on around that area? He grabs you with one of his arms oh. and he takes up into the air stealthily. Ah! Calm down, don't scream. <laughs> Uh, he flies I'm sorry, you... I have a very... Uh, I should let you know I have a very big phobia <clears throat> of being up in the air. He flies you over to what looks like a, um, like a warehouse, the roof of a warehouse, a ways mm -hmm. off. Uh, it's very fast. He's a pretty fast flyer. Uh, and you see that there's a tart, and he puts you down, and he... Ow! Goblin! Ow! Ow! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Uh, goblins! <laughs> uh, you see that there is a... There's a tarp, and you see that there's a form underneath the tarp. And he drops you down next to it and lets you go. That's right. He just kind of shakes his head. Oh, I I look at the I look under the tarp. All right, as you lift up underneath the tarp, you see a naga-like creature. Uh, it says a long serpentine body with two <clears throat> heavy muscular arms. Uh, you see, he kind of tosses aside these, like, these scimitars that are almost twice as large as you are, uh, kind of slacked lazily to its side. This thing has had its neck broken and has been beaten to shit. Jeez. Uh, you do this, Frank? He was after your snake friend. Yes, I'd imagine. Oh, no, I think his sister might be in play here. What? Where did he go? Hmm said to old stomping grounds he said not to worry about him but he didn't want meryl to be in danger god damn it all right i mean he didn't say that but it's pretty obvious when i mentioned it he got really he he was but he didn't say it you know what i mean no that's fair mm. well at least he's safe but god damn it, he shouldn't shoulder that on himself all right take me back Mm. He grabs you and flies off. One second, I just gotta remove my cat from the room real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I could just watch him work all day. Look what. I am back. Okay. Just... Sorry about that. We're all just watching this immaculate, immaculate blacksmith work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really weird. Every time his arm moves, you swear it's just like a skeleton arm on the inside of the way that it moves up and down. And he never gets singed. It's almost impressive. It's hypnotic, really. Yeah, really well, man. Talking about that dang old forge. <laughs> mm, I, I, it's, it's, I'm not going to lie, guys. I think I got my new Zen activity to do. <laughs> just fluffy watching. It is, it is rather hypnotizing. 
I think it's safe to say we've got ourselves a uh, <clears throat> blacksmith. Yes, yeah. it is safe to say that. Was it dangerous right, before? <laughs> Cass, you eventually are led back to the roof and you were let go and you make your way down. I just tell Frank, all right, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. And if anything else like that occurs, let me know. Mm. All right, I head over to the other guys. Guys, what, are you, what the fuck are you all doing? Oh, just, Dutch, our task, where did you go? Waiting for you to get back. Sorry, we, we got we got <clears throat> roped into something. You watch as, like, Fluffy takes a sword that's, like, searing hot red. He dips it into the water and just steam erupts, and his hair gets flown up, and it's, like, really slow motion for no reason. <laughs> it's like, um, go. <laughs> Panic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, did you mention you wanted to speak with Edward? Yes. I did. Uh, Would because... you like to do that now or later? All things considered, panic now might actually be good because Sully just did a silly yeah. message with me, and have, uh, we're I talking tomorrow. Th there is one more thing I must check on before we go anywhere. Of My course. son. Oh, you haven't <clears throat> right, Tarisk. Yes. Tarisk. Remy's right, gonna start calling out for him like he's. Yeah, start yelling for him. Yeah. The ground, the ground begins to shake. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. Uh, z task. You might want to brace yourself. Uh, you see Tarisk run and rip around a corner in the courtyard. These bright eyes, his wings are huge now. He's now considered a large creature. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, fuck. He <laughs> watches he stumbles and trots forward. I, I make my way over towards him. I stand right in front of him. Here. Here. Oh! <gasps> Tash just throws his fucking arms on his face and just like puts his head on his his forehead on his. <sighs> I'm sorry I was away for so long. You would not believe what has happened. And okay. I'm so happy you are. You you're home now. Yes, kinda yes, I'm home now. Raises his nose, kind of nuzzles you a little bit, and just licks up the side of your face. It's like lots of saliva. He's big. He's bigger than he was as a guard drake now. Uh, and he's fairly muscular as well. Oh, damn. He's fucking shredded. Right? He's, he's got pretty like, shredded. Pack. I, I can't believe I can't believe how much you've grown. You Have you been taking to your studies? Have, have you... Has Zotera been teaching you anything? Well, Learn, learn, learn to speak. Oh my god. Ta Task is smiling, but then like stops and like looks down. I'm so sorry I'm not around as much as I should be. More, more, more than dragons. He kind of smiles towards you. Oh, fuck it. Just full on hug my son. Fuck this. Let's go. He kind of brings up his arms and kind of tries to hug you, but you're so tiny that it just kind of like his elbows rub you in. Oh. I think it's safe to say he missed you. Oh. Uh, I, I promise you I'll be back soon. We have things to do, but it's so glad to see you. Uh, I, I pat him on the side of the head and I let him, I just like shove him away playfully to go do what he's doing. He kind of like does the dog thing where he kind of shakes his butt and then he just kind of trots off. Task kind of just like clutches a little bit to his heart a little bit as he walks back to everyone else. Huh. That's rather astounding. Dragons, a man. A lot's changed since we've been gone. You know, it's funny. If, if I saw that maybe 10 years ago i'd i'd be scared shitless <sighs> well sorry to take up your time gentlemen let's be on our way did you guys want to check the uh the post oh we got oh. mail let's let's not let's not break oh, from tradition let's time. not go <laughs> you're, you're back, you're back. <laughs> i'm right here <coughs> check your damn mail <laughs> Oh, let's go do it. Mail time, right. mail time, mail time, but mail time, time, mail time. Do it. All right, let's check Man. the mail. Right. So Man, as I you hope... guys go into the pseudo dragon nest, you notice that all of them are like hanging out and playing poker again. The moment you guys enter, they all scatter. 
back into Polka? their room. Yeah. Rook, are you cheating? Dear Borky, is... how do you type with boxing gloves on? Can't even read. Uh, you see four letters uh, that are in the post. Uh, one is a letter to you from Audrey. One is a letter from the Silver King to Willow. Ooh. The other is a letter from Anna to you all. And there's an envelope without anything on it sitting in oh, one of the nests. I, I heard Boy. Willow and Silver King. I'm interested. I guess we'll hang on to that, the one for Willow for yeah. her to read later. Yeah. Or, you know, just hold it up to the light. You know, no harm. <laughs> You do you do have some people here who can forge documents? <coughs> All right, so we're we seriously first? going to look through our employees' mail, are we? <laughs> much less, much less correspondence from a king. I mean, it's not technically a king, but you, you know how it goes. Uh, uh, still, an really ancient silver dragon. Through, you really shouldn't be looking through their mail, though, Greckles. Oh, so this was above game, Bosco? Oh, yeah. Did I have the accent on? No! Oh, above okay. game, I'm interested in <laughs> Okay. Fuck. Okay, I see how this is. I see You've how this baited, is. You've been baited, bitch. Oh, no! <laughs> Jeez. Right. I miss you too, Bosco, you yeah. giant so, bastard. <laughs> so what would you guys like to read first? Um, uh, Let's do the one that's addressed to everyone first. Yeah. Okay. For, there's yeah. one from Audrey and one from Anna that is addressed to everybody. Do Anna first. Anna, for sure. Oh, God, where is it? In this giant list of notes. It is in found documents, so it'll be there. It'll be the only okay, one. Okay, there we go. Anna, I see it. <laughs> I guess I'll read it. I'll take this one. Cool. Dear Unexpectables, I don't know if you remember me, but my name is Anna. You helped me and my son Thomas a while ago. I just wanted to let you know that oh. I am now... The... Hmm? Yeah, you remember now. <laughs> no, I, that, yeah, changeling. Remy was there for that. I remember that. The changeling. Just, yeah, the changeling. Yeah. Kid. The changeling. Yep. Oh, wait, you're going to love this pit bit then. I just wanted to let you know that I am now living in Alavast, the dock district. Oh! Thomas's father has set up a house for us, and there is a steward who helps with the house and security. His name is Blue. He's a shark triton Jesus. and a very nice man. <laughs> Tony has come to live with us also. We're considered a formal arrangement. You know, uh, but for now, we're just adjusting to city life. I just wanted to let you know that we're all uh, that you were all very kind to me and my son. If there's anything we could do to help you, let us know. In the meantime, I sent along something to keep you all warm as winter is closing in. Do take care of yourselves, Anna, Thomas, and Tony. As you dig through the pseudo dragon nest, you find a wrapped par uh, parcel, and inside is a scarf for each of you guys. Oh, uh, that's neat. Is, yeah. They are knitted scarves. One is like kind of a red and black for panic. Uh, Borky's is kind of like this sort of uh, stripy patterned multiple greens. Uh, Task, yours is kind of like a really sharp mixture of different reds and Greckles. Yours is incredibly long and very thick uh, of a variety of different blue fabrics. Oh <laughs> my God. When Can I to run? Oh my God. Fucking wild. <laughs> you know, you know, I got to play the trope. <laughs> Immediately, I'm putting that thing on. That thing is now a permanent. <laughs> They're very, very nicely yeah. made. I'll, I'll, drape it over my... Del Burdo. I'll drape it over my shoulders, uh, Chris Jericho style. I okay. knew that was coming. All right, oh cool. God. Well, that was that letter. Judas in. Judas in my mind. All right, so who wants to take the next letter? Uh, we had the blank one, the one we're not supposed to get into. On and what was the last one? You know what? Uh, Fuck it. I want to take the blank. Uh, well, Audrey, you gotta read Audrey's, or do you want to read the unmarked one first? Uh, I would like to read the unmarked one. All right, go All for right. it. You and Tass will open up the unmarked one. Okay. Tass, you take the envelope. Greckles, you help him rip it open. And Tass, as you open it, you see this. It should be in the. Uh. Oh God. Uh, Welcome you soon to the mountain of the repetition. Welcome you soon to the mountain of repetition. It just says that over and over and over again. Oh, uh, we gotta that make is... wait. We gotta make sure a task. It might be a secret meeting in there. Better read all of it. Did I stutter? Oh, this is the fucking both. This is fucking faith vibes right now. Fuck off. Oh man, uh, no. I, I am going to uh. I'm going to weave some magic to, through my new guitar strings. I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Okay, 
It's not magical. Hmm. Oh, this is so unsettling. Yeah. Is it's, there any other? It's, it's literally all caps, check? the same thing over and over and over again. Can I do a history check on the Mountain of Repetition? Yeah, sure. Roll a history I was check. actually just going to ask that question. Yeah. All righty. Here I go. Hey, let's go, baby. Wow. Oh, God. Natural 20. So I'm gonna, yeah, panic's got Oh, this. my lord. I rolled you, a five. You have rolled a five. You have not a clue. I have panic. no idea. You've heard of mountains of grandness. You've heard of mountains of, like, you know, great remark. You have never heard of a mountain of repetition. That doesn't make any sense to you. Really? With a natural 20? Not a single thing you've ever heard of being a mountain of repetition. You get the sense that maybe this isn't something historical, maybe it's something metaphorical, but you're not sure. Would I feel anything oh. about this? You feel, weirdly enough, Tess, something about this feels familiar to you, but not familiar to you at all. It's sort of both feelings at the same time, simultaneously. I'm not sure that this is... Uh, the mountain of reputation is a physical thing or a place. It might be like a concept or something. Welcome you soon to the mountain of repetition. And it just okay. goes and goes and goes and goes. Tash, Tash just grips onto the letter and like just puts it to his side. Hey Monty, I feel I feel something out of this. Monty, yeah. wasn't yeah. Uh, is there is there any other like well known mountain range that isn't to the north? Uh, that isn't to the north of Alabas? Correct. Uh, I mean, not really. There's the mountain that the fire giants live in. That's the south, and it's not a mountain of repetition. It's a singular mountain. But there are mountains to the north, which is there where... There are. There are. Um, the most significant mountain is the, the Silver Peak Mountains, which, which is where, is the, where silver yeah. the Silver Kobolds apparently live. Yeah. Money question... Mm -hmm. Would I need to do a roll to determine if it's the same kind of paper as the different notes we keep getting from lies and the lies-like creatures? Roll an investigation check. Come on, baby. Cool, Gaijin. That's a nat, that's a nat 20. Let's what? go! Oh my god. god damn. Wait, it's, it's, not yes, it it my, it's not popping it up is. on the screen yet. It, it, it is. is. It is identical to the letters you used to receive from lies. Greckles grabs task. But this dialogue is definitely uh, different because Lies always signs his letters. This one right. is not signed. Task, this is the same parchment that was used when Lies was trying to reach us as well as Ith. But it couldn't be Lies because Lies would always sign their documents. Out loud, out loud I'll say Ith, what do you think about this? Uh, if your spy, uh, responds with. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> no, this is, this, I did this to myself. Uh, if responds with unsure, uncertain, unknown, unwell. Huh. The I last one like... seems to be a no. question, just to be make sure you guys are okay, I guess. Yeah. If. Ith doesn't know either. Very bad that out of all of us, I'm feeling something out of this. Maybe it's connected to you the way Ith is connected to me. Lies touched all of us in some way. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We get back to Alavast, not 15 minutes, and I already got a stomach ache. I'm going to hold on to this. So, not to alarm anyone, but you're doing the weird static thing again. I assume this is something you're familiar with. Oh, uh, does does, right. does Remy does does Remy not hear any of that? No, you, we're you, on... heard, you heard all that. Oh, I did. Except for the word lies, I got both. Oh, okay, out, so that's but... that's the only thing that's yeah. It's it's kind of a long story. It's this overarching presence that seems to follow us. Well, the point being is that apparently I might be the next thing. The next what? The next part well, of Well, mm. yeah, it's some, it's sort of a... I'm not even sure we're allowed to talk about it, to be perfectly honest. 
let's just say it may be more than just coincidence that the cultists are so close. And the the circumstances the circumstances in which you found us first are starting to come around again. Let's get to the other letters. Uh, just don't go falling out of the sky again. And yes, I'll open, I'll open the letter from Audrey. Okay. Yay, something nice. Maybe. We're all dead. <laughs> Dear Unexpectables, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for screwing up my life. Lol. Really, <laughs> Audrey. All right, there you go. Whoever wants to read that. Uh, Dearest Unexpectables, I hope the summer seasons find you in good health. We've now constructed a full trade road with Balfour Village to the west. Huh. We've begun to exchange fish and furs for metal tools and weapons. Gruel and the rest of the orcs are thriving well. The animal husbandry is turning into a valuable resource. Mm -hmm. Good job, Task. Uh, through gu Though gruel, gruel uh, seems only interested in allowing the chickens and cows to breed with what others he deems are meant for each other. That's weird. I mean, he should just let the chickens and cows breed together if they love each other, right? Um, Task holds his face. But... I am doing well. With the trade roads now made uh, Maria, Honore, and Kendra now visit more often. Honore and Kendra are wed now. Hey! We weren't, uh, I see from the uh, the coop being empty, we weren't invited to that, but uh, okay. Uh, uh, Maria has been training to be a historian. Huh. I'm keeping to organizing Gruul's affairs. An ambassador of sorts. We've seen sights of various dragons on the coast. The rule tells me there is a bronze dragon who owns the water channel leading to your city. Oh. He says she is beautiful and can transform into any animal. Oh. Ah, that must be uh, uh, Prevain. Yeah. Prevain. Yeah. Uh, I have received uh, a sending spell from Periton. Hmm. I have not told Gruul, as I do not want to concern him. The general in charge of our mission tried to contact me. And wanted to know why he hasn't received any hawks from us. He wants to know where our ship is. By the sound of things, the Oren vessel I came on hasn't returned to port in Periton. It makes me wonder where it's ended up. If you hear anything, please let me know. While I know the people on that boat were horrible to you, it would give me peace to know where all of those paladins and clerics ended up. With respect and blood, Audrey. Oh, goodness. Yes. Do tell, do tell Remy I say hello. I hope he's recovered since the incident. It's Hard to heal from such things, but having a companion can make help make the healing much easier. Do take care of yourselves. Well, that was a bit to unpack. Uh, oh, it's, yeah. really, it's, it's, really, it's really good to hear about the husbandry. I can't wait for them to start shipping things out of that town. Yeah. <laughs> oh, something on someone dropped something. <laughs> And that's just me. In a, in a very that, that rhythmic, was, rhythmic manner. That was chunk. That was chunk and rook doing that. It sounds like someone got shot in the rim. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's unsettling. The fact that the ship hasn't returned. Is it unsettling? Like we hate those guys. Uh, yeah, yeah yes, but... but I don't wish death upon them if it can be avoided. No, but that also means that they <laughs> they might have just pulled what they did at the orc encampment to somewhere else. Here's what worries me. Is it possible they veered off course because they know if they went back they would be killed anyway? Or maybe the maybe. sea giantess got to them. That is also possible. Or maybe they died of starvation because they had no food. Either way, I understand where Audrey is coming from. If we can somehow get intel on that, it would be good to tell her. It's too many variables we... at this point. How would we get intel on that? That's all the way in Canary's Perch. Uh, well, there are there are ways to get information if you know the right people. Yeah, but who do we know in Canary's Perch? Mm, it the, doesn't uh, have to be someone the in later, Canary's oh, Perch. No, no, oh no! Oh, I just okay. Uh, the, the panic later, as you panic as you say oh, that. No. You remember a passionate night, and then uh, you slowly narrow your eyes. Um, I know. <laughs> yep. Hungry eyes I cuts back to panic. Hmm. Wait, oh, I'm still not thinking of anything. Pa panic all of a sudden hears a Silvando scream from fucking. Uh... There is I, a lot to unpack uh, here. Uh, Maybe uh, we should uh, table this for another day. And an aching, long forgotten. <laughs> 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 uh, 
a limp of days of past. <laughs> Look, we 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 can address that when we have a little bit more time. Are there any other letters? Uh, there's the one for Willow. Perhaps we should just give it to Willow, and maybe she'll share the details herself. There was one more, right? No, no that was it. it was just the four. Okay. The unmarked one, Audrey, Anna, and then the one that's meant for Willow from the Silver King. Hmm. We should. All right. Do we want to give this to Willow and hear that out, or do we want to head over to? Well, we to... should at least give her her mail. Sure. I would agree with Greckles. Sure. I'll tell you what. Sorry. You would. I'll quickly deliver it to her. I'll meet you guys outside. Okay. All right. Well, I think it would be good if we all went to go see Willow. We haven't seen her in five well, months. Yeah, well, I think she would be very happy well, to she, see you. She yeah. still thinks she's dead. We could pretend to be ghosts and haunt her. No. Why would we Borky, do that, Borky? No, no. absolutely not. I'm sorry. I just miss everybody so much. I can't wait to make jokes with them. Oh, well, let's go. We've missed you too, Borky. Let's give oh. her the mail. All right. You guys You guys head upstairs uh, to her, her tower. The door has been improved. Everything everything about the tavern has been improved. Um, the outside is, is about the same. Uh, as you knock on the door, you, like, watch as the, the door itself kind of glows. And as you guys knock on the door, the glow kind of sort of, like, descends away from, like, the, the outer part of the door. And the door opens. And you see Willow currently at a table mixing stuff together. She goes, uh, yeah, yes, come in, but be careful. She slowly starts pouring one vial into the other and shakes it, corks it immediately, and sets it Hopefully on the we're not set of alchemy tools. Things. Oh, oh my goodness! She stands up and she kind of dusts herself off. Uh, she looks much different too. Uh, her hair has come down in the front a little bit more. She's now got two orbs, like the two sort of like orb embellishments on the front part of her hair, and still has a long ponytail in the back. And she's wearing really nice robes now, like like actual like wizards' robes. Um, and she quickly closes up her spell book and she, she dusts herself on the trumpet. like, you guys are back. Oh my goodness. I knew you guys would come back. I mean, uh, sort confident. of, I, well, I mean, you guys are gone for a while. You look good. You look no different than the day you left. Well, a little more beat up, but, um. Oh, trust uh, us. There's, there's a whole rigmarole around that. Oh, well, I'm glad you're back. Um, what can I help you with? Well, it's nice to see you as well. We have mail for you, and when we get back, I'm certain we have lots of things to show you from the Underdark. I'm sure you'd like to get oh. your hands on. Oh, yes, yes. I also have I prepared some stuff for you after you guys left, but it's been sitting for the longest time. Let me see here. And she goes into a drawer. Oh, 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 <coughs> for oh, the longest, longest time. time. <laughs> God. Let's see. Some like Billy Joel. I find what is happening. Uh, here we go. She pulls out two scrolls. She brings them over to you. I, I learned some new spells from Remy's mother. Oh, excellent. Does she yeah. look? Does she look like Remy? Like an older Remy. Um, not that she's old. I just mean like you, but older. I. But also I, a woman. <laughs> I so, um, uh, she, like, face I, goes I, red. I know what you mean, Willow. It's okay. Sorry. Right. Uh, here's a spell of Dispel Magic, third level. She hands oh, it off to you. Hell yeah. Uh, and here is a spell for when you're traveling. I thought this would be kind of useful. Uh, Faithful Hound. Here you go. Oh, nice. Yeah. I figured they'd be pretty useful. Um, I've, My... I've, yeah, I've been, I've been doing quite good. Um... So what can I help you with? I'm, I'm sure you weren't here for those. Those were kind of a surprise. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we do have this for you. I hand her the letter. Immediately, that nice, gentle expression immediately just shifts. Oh, no. To, like, exhaustion. Task fucking shrinks when he does that. She takes the letter. Like, she almost snatches it out of your hand and then <laughs> pops the seal and pulls it out. I have to read the letter because it is a physical letter. Remy's going to be on standby because reasons. Hello, Willow. It's me, the Silver King. <laughs> no, oh, he's the, wacky. No, uh. the dragon that rules over what used to be Eltmer. That dragon, the one that rules Eltmer now, and I argue I'm doing a bang-up job as the humans would put it. <laughs> Willow How just could like, you forget? Uh, 
it. I, I guess picture Remy and Willow having this eye to eye moment of like, <laughs> I have heard through the grapevine that you are scheduled to be married. How did he find out about that? Don't, don't look at us. We've been gone for five months. You, you do Probably. live. With, I think you live with his kids, so I. You know. I mean, Arlo, Zotara. She like shrinks, like crumples the letter. <laughs> while that is, while that is quite joyous, ugh, I'd love to once again extend my claw and give you one last offer to join me on the throne. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, Willow. I didn't mean to throw open my mouth. I feel as though you two of us could sire very, but oh, forget that shit. I, oh, uh, did he oh. really use the word sire? Oh, that's yeah. desperate. That's oh. desperate to propose to a fucking I'm, engaged oh. woman. I understand if you're content with the mundane and gray of the man you've taken to be your husband. <laughs> but you know, I, you know, it... Willow, I, I might have made peace with him, but Doros and I could go on an adventure. I don't know, say right now, if you so oh, desired. This... This guy tried to give me love advice. <laughs> yeah, man, you've taken to your husband, but before you become too committed, I only asked for you to think of the possibilities. Can your fiancé breathe icy cold breath that can kill his enemies on impact? I think not. Can your <laughs> <I> fiancé <laughs> soar through the air with the agile and grace whilst nosediving to sweep and blast said previous icy breath upon corrupted armies? I think not. Does your fiancé have a sizable horde composed of rich... Oh, forget this guy! It just throws the letter, and it, like, because it's paper, it just kind of floats in the air. Tass, like, like crinkles your arm. Tass, wow. like, on the finger, and he's just like, um, to be fair, Doros could do all that if you gave him scrolls. Hmm. She kind of, she kind of smiles towards that. I think there's a spell point. that gives you dragon's breath as well. There is, and I got that spell for you. I have some studying mm. to do. Oh, Tess, what have you done? Oh, oh I, I ruined wow. things on a daily basis, Crackles. That was embarrassing. <laughs> for that me was... or for him? Uh, for, yes, for him. the correct answer is yes. Good. A little bit of both. Oh, I didn't want him to know about our wedding, which is why we haven't scheduled it yet. Uh, uh, to be fair, right? I can is make sure what? that his children are not informed of it, if you would like. Preferably, yes. All right. Is, is that the first correspondence? you've had in a long time? No, I've or... gotten another letter from him about Elmer, but I prefer if he didn't send me letters, you know, given my cover. Yes, but... he's very bad at the whole secrets thing, despite him making me lie for him. Yeah, he really is. He uh... really, really is. I'm oh, sorry, I, I, I... soured our return with no, this. No, no! Oh. I'm so happy to see you guys, and you guys are a sight for sore eyes. It's just him. But um, me and Doris are doing great. Uh, did you see him? He's got new armor and a new cape. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Very it, good. Yeah. it billowed in the wind. Uh, by the way, uh, you, uh, the four of you didn't tell me. What did you think of his cape? What did you think? The look, the whole... Regal? Look good. Yes, yes, he does. Did you have, Remy, did you have something to Remy, do with that cape? Are you I'm, fishing I, for compliments? No, I would, I, it's just a glorious outfit. So don't you would agree, we'll hope it. <laughs> it does look pretty handsome. Gre yeah. Greckles gets, like, face to face with him, and then that, uh, just one eye kind of, like, mm. bulges out, staring at his face. Yes, Greckles, you're awfully close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying he looks like a he whispers out dapper man. He whispers. He whispers out loud and like strokes your cheek while he says it in silence. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it, but it seems a little unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you made some good choices. Oh wow! Why, thank you. That is very kind of you to say. Trust me, Remy. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. I'm very appreciative of that, Willow. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Willow, we do have some materials that we've taken from the Underdark that we'd like to give to you. However. We could probably no. set that for another time. We do have. I'm, other... Yeah, I'm just finishing up for the night. So if you're willing to, to wait for a bit. Of course. Okay. All right. Well, don't stay out too late, young men. And she kind of like waggles her finger towards you guys. Tash just cocks an eyebrow at her with, a, with like a smug smile. <laughs> In my defense, you only work for my mother. You're not her. So I am going to take your advice, though, because I am tired. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Remy. Let's go take care of this business, gentlemen. Uh, Borky asks Agreed. Remy as we're starting to leave to start the conversation. Why are we going to meet your family, Remy? Oh, um, I mean, I'm sure you'll eventually meet them. One of them. 
Remy, Remy, are you embarrassed what? of them? No, I adore my family. They're one of the reasons why I'm not angry at the world anymore. Oh, and here, because your parents had sex. Well, mm, mm, I didn't want to think about that at this particular juncture. And fast travel. There you go. Thank you. There you go. I gotta share something in the, oh, in the chat room. No. <laughs> don't we need to be? Don't we need to be near? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank Who you, Miss Tweedums. Miss Tweedums did oh, it. Miss Miss Tweedums drew uh, Fluffy as Totoro. That is amazing. Oh, Tweedums, Tweedums, bless you. Thank you, Tweedums. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, so you guys are heading towards uh, Edward's uh, school, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Easy enough. You guys make your way to the to the school. Uh, and eventually, one of the uh, one of the students, you assume one of the sorcerers, leads you upstairs uh, to Edward's office that you guys all recognize. Uh, are his doors open? Because he has like those double doors. They're closed at the moment. Okay. Remy is gonna knock since he's been here somewhat recently. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, hold on. I gotta do the special knock. There we go. <laughs> Doors don't open in my other universe without that knock. So it's just da, 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 da. Come on in. You hear a voice behind the door. <laughs> hey, that's my shit. Back off. Sorry. <laughs> you, you see, sitting kind of framed by a mountain of papers and books, uh, Edward, kind of looking a little disheveled. Um, but currently working, he looks a little sickly at the moment, um, as you guys enter inside. Oh, you're back so soon. Do you have any more, uh, <clears throat> any more questions for my prisoner? Uh, no, and no more items for you either. In fact, I've, uh, brought you a bit of a gift in a different way, and I'm gonna motion behind the people he hasn't probably seen in five months. Ah, I knew it was a matter of time. He closes the book. Nice to, know you're not, nice to know you don't think we're dead. Well, I'm not a stranger to interplanar travel, and based off of the message I received, I had a feeling you were delving deeper than expected. You know, it would have been nice of you to at least let some of us in on that information. I didn't know how secret this mission was, so I had to be respectful. That being said, I do hope my advice was useful to you. It cer to certainly time. was. Thank you. Um... We're here about that, actually. Mm, you see, we learned some things in the uh, realm of Discord, actually. Things that uh, are not great for uh, life overall. Mm -hmm. um, as it turns out, uh, I, I, I look back real quick. Did we, we, we told him about Astar, right? I mean, I thought we did. I thought we did. The goopy stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, just, yeah. Just tell, just tell so him about it. Yeah, we told him that. Yeah. You remember, you remember Athar, right? Oh yeah, I know, no, yeah. I, 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 I fatality. You him. gave me a brief overview of events of that job once you ran into Miss Shellstonia herself on your way to meet me. Right. Did we tell you about the black goopy stuff? Yes. Yeah, so you mentioned that you tried to collect some, but as you touched it, it disappeared. Correct. There was more. Uh, in the realm of Discord. There was, in the realm of Discord, there was this, this substance. Black goop, yes. Uh, specifically clouded around uh, who we will henceforth refer to as Omelette Ma for the sake of brevity. Hmm. I've been looking into things with the time that I've had. I've been reading books. And what have you come up with? That's not the right music. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Por Porky, like Porky wipes sweat away. Thank God. Woo! <laughs> 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 you. You. This is very tricky to investigate because of the nature of the phenomenon, but... Actually, pop quiz. Sit down. He watches. He flexes his hand up, and the shadows on the ground kind of coalesce into chairs. Oh, in that never, oh. 
what happens when a god dies? Arcana the, check? Would, the, would, not, the, would not the belief um, of the concept of what it rules go away with it? A lot, the aspect of nature that it commands go away? A lot of people die. The first two answers are correct. The last one, heart's in the right place, but incorrect. Thank you. Task, you had the most accurate answer, that the concept of which it ruled over is absolutely destroyed and removed from not only history, but existence. Fuck. Man. Uh, Imagine that, say, Ilune were to die. Not only would the moon disappear, but the concept of the moon, the history of the moon, every part of it would vanish. Would we also forget its existence? Yes. How is that possible? It is a constant that disappears, and so the constant in both past, present, and future disappears also. What now here's a, mm, sorry. Now here's a question for you. How can a god die? By the hands of another god? No. If it is forgotten? Yes. Yes, if no one believes in it, it ceases to exist. But that's strange though. I so many people that we know uh fo uh followed the will of music and knew about it. How could how could everyone just plainly forget about it when it dies, when everyone still knows it exists? Because there's something else that can kill a god. And it is not another god. And I do not know what it is. But you know this to be true. How? Because there was a god that died. Here in this very city. But if it and died, you wouldn't remember it. I remember it as it is now. I do not remember as it was. No one remembers it as it was. A flash of realization yeah. in Panic's eyes. Yeah, same with Greckles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna telepathic. If that's why other people can't hear us when we talk about lies. Thus drifting directionless divine. Edward, do you remember the name of this god? No one does. It's gone. Hmm. In every sense of the meaning, it is gone. Even written history is affected by this? Yes. The only thing that would know would be Ko. Roll, you know a, roll a religion check, everybody. Ha! We've we've what? heard of Ko before, though, haven't we? Remy, roll with advantage because you have experience with Ko. That's a okay. double twenty. That's his, all right. That's religion. You said fifteen. Religion. Fifteen for Remy. Seven. Okay. No soap. Yeah, he wouldn't really know this one. Task. It's kind of outside of your your basis here. What dragon? Soft twenty. <laughs> okay. And and Borky? Uh, you want me to read? Oh, okay. I was just gonna. Religion. It's religion check, yeah. Did you roll? Because my thing's glitching out a little bit for me. It's not working. Oh, 13. 13. 13, okay. Uh, so you got a, you got a soft 20 panic? Sorry, yours is, didn't show up for me. Yeah, it's soft 20. Uh, Remy, Greckles, and uh, Panic. Weirdly enough, the most appropriate people to know who this god is. <laughs> nice. Ko, which is K O, literally K O. Uh, is the god of secrets or forgotten knowledge. Um, they're a very weird god because they're not super evil, but they they don't share secret knowledge. They devour knowledge and hide it away from the world so that it cannot be known about. They are the opposite to Almon, which is the god of knowledge, where more or less like knowledge is not meant to be shared. Knowledge is meant to be hidden. So you're saying we would have to get in touch with the God of Secrets? <laughs> As if the God of Secrets would relinquish such information. The name of a dead god is far more valuable than the name of a orc demon. And why is that? Because, because it contains all of the history. Because it could bring them back. Oh. 
Right. If wait a minute. So if, if people start remembering it, warp, it, it oh. the god comes back into existence. Exactly. Then why can't we? I. Hmm. Ko is not just a god, but is the concept of secrets. That is why you will never get that name. No one will get that name back. Edward, very irrational idea, but I'm the, I can't think of anything else in the, in the matter of this. Is it not possible to create a brand new god that can undo the will of another? It is, yes. What if there was a way we could create a god that takes away that ability to reveal what is hidden? Then it would be something completely new. The forces that exist already will still exist. Making something new doesn't cancel out what already exists. In some cases, it gets absorbed into the same umbrella under the same god. Mm. I, also, if, you, if you create I something to undo all of those secrets, it could... The ripple effect could be very dangerous. World ending in ways. Speaking yes. of which, I have a question specifically relating to why we came here in the first place. Say if Ostrix, the god of madness, were to somehow go away one day, would the being now known as Omelet Ma cease to exist as well? Or would they revert back into their celestial form as if nothing had ever happened? I wish I knew. He kind of shrugs his head. So what we're dealing with is some kind of alien entity, something that's beyond the gods, a void of, so, of sorts. I've tried to find any sort of history, any sort of retelling story, but that knowledge appears to be only accessible then before it's done its dues. If that is makes there, sense. Is there no one who can speak on behalf of Ko that we know about? There is one, and he kind of turns and looks towards uh, Remy. But... I do not think that relationship is a two-way street. At the very least, not in terms of knowledge given and knowledge gained. Certainly not knowledge gained. I mean, it would not hurt to ask your companion there, Remy. What was his name? Cleft? Uh, Cliff. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's a shot in the dark, but yes, it could work. Mm. Well, it's better, than, it's better been, than being just stuck in the dark and wondering. <laughs> There's something wonderful about that in his own. Yeah, like I said, I, a I'll, lot has I'll happened since it. you've been gone. I'll lean into the guys. Do you think Louis Strong knows something? I mean, he's been around for a while, but it kind of depends on where he's been. Do you think secrets would be able to be kept in that rattled brain of his in the helmet? How is Louis Strong doing? Minute, he's, uh... Depressed. Ever the ray of sunshine. The helm of a thousand hearts is a burden. A divine punishment from my studies. Even the trip to the beach cheered them up. I believe that course of action would not work. The Helm of a Thousand Hearts forgets its past life for every new life it enters. Damn it. I do not have the answers, and I don't want to discourage you, but I doubt that you could find them yourselves. This, in all honesty... He kind of sets his hand on the table. It's a bit out of our reach. So we wait until something comes to us, then? I suppose. That uh, can't be the answer. Amlet Ma is dying. Was dying. From my studies now hearing is that music has returned to us about three months ago. I've heard You're welcome. news that spells in Tricadia and other sorts of places have come back. Terrible effects in the Tatalon jungle. I'm not sure if you heard about that. We don't get much news out of Tatalon. No, neither do I, but voices were being taken. People couldn't talk anymore. Hmm. 
<laughs> Panic sweats in his seat. Uh, <laughs> but, you don't say. Wait, did did did, did you did Euphoria say anything about being in the no, Taliban jungle? No, she never. Beforehand? That's way out of the way. Uh, Edward, a question. Wait, wait, wait. She she. Wait. So so she did say something. Wait. She she didn't say anything about being in the Tatalon jungle. But no. Your the, your the wording of your answer was kind of. Base basically what Edward explains is that everybody in Tatalon couldn't talk. Oh. oh. It, it, it was yeah. a phenomenon like the Tracadian spell problem where you guys couldn't cast spells properly. So it wasn't it wasn't Euphoria per se. It was it was Eliza yeah. Spider issue. And then in Alavas, it was music. No one could play music. Huh. Well, um, you're welcome, first of all. It's appreciated. Uh, it kind of goes unthanked, you'll find, in this business. Second, secondly, it's probably going to happen again in seven years. What makes you say that? I have... I was there. Well, you know, you I, know, with Euphoria, that she had to come and feed him every seven months because he was dying. But you've removed what was it was. It was seven months or seven seven years. years. But you, since leaving, you woke him up. He's been in that stupor for like generations, but now he's actually awake. Oh, so, okay. Now he's, yeah. right. mm -hmm. now he's he's back from from the brink. He's back all right. Now, so yeah. All right. I I I, I miss I I am I. I I got it misconstrued. I got it all fucked no up. Worries, in my head. No worries. No worries. It's very complicated, but <laughs> um, that still leaves the nature of this black goo. It'd be nice to get a sample of it, but it looks like whenever it's touched by anything, it goes away. Is there no way? Maybe. Maybe if we found a creature that was infected by it and brought them back here for study. What if it spreads, though? We don't know the nature of this. What if it's a disease? It seemed to dissipate whenever we killed Aftar. I mean, none, uh, none of us are suffering any ill effects. Aftar, Aftar's essence also didn't spread to any followers. After we killed a good many of them, he was the only one that was affected. So maybe there's a way to preserve it magically if we can't physically touch it. Sadly, not all of us are wizards. I'm the best we've got. I don't think magic will pick it up either. It's anything. It's literally anything. Wind, hands, anything seems to just make it disappear. Which is good in one way, but terrible in another. It's unfortunate that something like a a painting or an, an, an interpretation in some physical form couldn't give you some sort of insight. Well, besides looking at it, but what am I to say? Well, it's, you know, here he like folds open a book and he shows like a, a image that looks very similar to what that looks like. It's written in a language you don't Money. understand. Money. Mm hmm. I got a good look at that stuff, right? Yes, I mean, you did. yeah. All right. So give me a second. Let's see here. I am going to cast Silent Image uh, to the... Oh, what was it? 15-foot uh, cube. Basically to replicate a still image of the goop as as as, as, as like a single puddle unit, etc. Uh, Edward walks up and he starts kind of like like rubbing his chin, kind of walks around the image. He knows what the spell is. He's he's very mm -hmm. you know, magically trained. sure. I want for you to do something for me. What's that? When I go to touch this, I want you to make the illusion shift. In what have way? Have it do exactly what it's done when you touched it. All right. And he reaches out and he goes to touch it. I create the ripple. Okay. As you do, the it, recession. Dis it, di it disappears in hand. It doesn't, it doesn't recess. It doesn't resist. It just mm. disappears when he touches it. What do you make of it? <laughs> no idea. <sighs> he runs both of his hands through his hair and grips his head. Not a clue 
Oh, give me time. I'll look into it. In the meantime, I'm sure you have your own affairs to deal with, Lady Sally Andrus and the like. Indeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will I message just... you if anything comes up. Yes. Oh, by the way, Good Mr. to hear that, uh... Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I've just been... Keeping my peace here, but... Hey, Rob, so... Double tusks are in, too, as you can see. I'm proud of you. You're doing good work. Mm -hmm. Two left. Two left. Any information you can get me, please send it into a letter that someone can read to me. Edward, I have uh, a question. Yes. What do you mean? Mm. I received this in the mail. What do you make of it? He picks it up. He gets to make a special check. Is it, is it a plot point check? It is a plot point check, and you rolled a 19 plus his bonus. Yay! I, nice. Oh my god, I wish I had plot point hey. as a skill. The Mountain of Repetition. You know, I've read some of Artemis' notes on his ventures towards the Silver Peak Mountains. I've, I've been, been told here. from the individuals who traveled there with him that the mountain mm. itself tends to make a consistent repetitive noise. Almost like a grandfather clock. We've been hearing nothing but rumors that Silver Kobolds, as fairy tale as it sounds, might be there. Hmm. Wait a minute, I didn't get that from my natural 20? <laughs> No, because you didn't. You, ah. didn't know that. you didn't know this information. It's it's very private information between mm. Artemis and close people in the circle. Yeah, to be fair, don't give you everything. They don't Bard give you everything. Free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what if the bards don't know? I've been <laughs> places. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Oh, Look, yeah. if, if that was a nat 20 about you know Zeus's body, you'd be fine. But we're talking about mountains. <laughs> Wrong Edward, kind of mountain. Edward kind of turns to you, Task, and goes, Funny rumor I've heard. There was a book that Artemis seemed to have his hands on that he used to make his, um, what do they call them, constructs. Rumor is that book went missing. Some strange force seemed to have displaced it. Maybe if you can find that book, you might be able to find some answers. Can I insight check him? Absolutely. I would Let's also like to do the exact same yeah. thing. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, that's going to be a 23. Oh, that's a nat 14. 20 again. <laughs> roll 20 is just not... Yeah, yeah. not Yeah, and roll 20 does not like you or us in general. No. Oh, yeah, roll... Remy and Greckles, he knows you guys have the book. <laughs> He knows. God. But he's not going to tell anyone. He knows everything. Since you're so well informed, Edward, I have a second question for you. Sure. There was a ship that left port after we finished our business with Athtar. Had a lot of clerics and paladins on it. Have you received any word on something that might have happened to it? Um, ship off the coast. I have heard rumors of Sunset Pirates, a new pirate group. They're called the Sunset, Sunset Pirates. Yeah, that's on brand. That's on brand. They're staying out of Alabastian waters, so they're not really much of my concern, but... Mm. But nothing specifically about them attacking, perhaps, let's say, some sun clerics? Attacking Sun Clare. I don't know. I just heard that there's pirates that just showed up called the Sunset Pirates, and that sounds, well, relatable at the very least. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound good for them. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Isn't that the saying? It is. Oh. Well, I suppose we should let you get back to your studies. Uh, you s Sully apparently is looking for you. Is that what I heard? Sully Andrus is looking for me. Yes. I don't recall this information. Greckles looks over to Remy. Yeah, I don't recall this either. Maybe I'm crossing my wires. Either way, we should let are. him go. He's a busy man. I am, yes. If I find any information, I'll let you know. And if you find me any information, I ask and implore you that you let me know. 
find anything. Yes. Mr. Mr. Grimpong. Killing gods. Yes. If your son con if my son contacts you, please let me know. I don't think he will, but I certainly will let you know. In case I haven't heard from him in a while. I'm sure he's fine, but you know him. <clears throat> okay. Right. We out. <laughs> Peace right. out, dog. You guys leave. Mm -hmm. Head out. All right. Ah, well, that simple. That uh, didn't ease my worries at all. Oh, great. Every now time we're in the ev of killing gods. Every time I'm in that room, I swear I get goosebumps everywhere. You're not the only one. Ah, we have I, that book, don't we? So man can see a lot of things for someone who doesn't open his eyes. Which is why it's even more terrifying that he has so few answers this time. Mm. Tass looks to Tass looks to panic. We have that book, don't we? Sure do. He seemed to know it as well. Extensively. I want to borrow it tonight for study. Who does have that book? I don't. I think Task it. has it. I think Task got it, actually. Oh. You can well, borrow it from yourself, Task. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you have not looked at that since you got it. So. Okay, cool. That will be my extracurricular activity tonight. Hmm. So, do you have any other business? Not till tomorrow. Sorry. That's tomorrow. Mm. Unless she jumps ahead of schedule and comes in tonight, but night the falls. Only other, uh, the, only, the only other business I have now is reading this book. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am exhausted. I was going to say you should probably get some sleep. That's not a bad idea. Uh, Alrighty. So you guys head home to your tavern tuck in for a long night's sleep. Task, I would like you to roll an intelligence check for me. Sure thing. Here I go. Good luck. 18. There we go. Woo! 18. You find the book. You have to dig through your stuff to find it because you forgot about it. Oh, uh, yes. The dark mantle it. testicles, the cape, all that. <laughs> I have those! <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you find the book, and it's a lot more, um, like, definitely well loved it's it's been beaten up quite a bit um as you look through it again it, it depicts very vague things and the language written makes no sense at all like it, it's very weird and eclectic and you're not sure what's a language and what's a diagram um but you do see a depiction of the mountain and you do see a depiction of what looks like people coming out of the mountain, being made from the mountain, you're not sure. And there's depictions of what you can tell are kobolds as well. Um, and through it all, you, you see various different, like, sort of, nothing makes sense to you. It's, it's almost like looking at, like, a punch-out sheet. It just doesn't make sense to you. I'd and like to... Oh, I'm sorry. And as you kind of look through it, and you're getting really, really frustrated, you get the sense that maybe this is not meant for a human being. Maybe this is meant for something that's not human. Maybe something that is more of a construct. Tash just sighs, thinking to himself, Oh, this be you, you, you cut out there, buddy. He said, he, there. Tash, like, like, just mutters to himself, just like, Oh, I'm going to have to speak to him tomorrow. <laughs> As you kind of roll over in your bed and close your eyes, all of you now returning home to the city of Alavast. And I would various like to oh, yep, do go ahead. one thing before we... Uh, I want to, just briefly, uh, grab the crystal ball of sending. Okay. I'm going to send a message to Scarlet. Okay. I'm going to send her... Uh, I'll, I'll keep it brief. Uh, I won't use all 25 words. Uh, say, hey, kiddo. I'm alive back in Alabast. Come see me tomorrow. Okay? Hope you've been practicing. Immediately you get a message back. <laughs> panic! Oh my god, panic! It's you! Oh my god! Oh my god! Scarlet's my mom now, and I and you won't believe my two bits on it just cuts out. Like it's just like a whole lot of yelling. And it just cuts <laughs> like out. like the fucking SpongeBob episode. There's now a scarlet-shaped hole indenting in your wall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did she did she say Starlight was her mom? Yeah. 
Oh boy. Huh. Well. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, I'll look outside to see if I see any little red tieflings running down the street towards the sweet <laughs> dragon for a I little bit. Roll a perception check real fast. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, 19. 19. Uh, you don't see little little tieflings running around in the street. You do see Duros taking Willow out for a night on the town. That's all you see. And then Hey, like, yeah. my man. Close the door. I've taught right, my boy I'll, well. I'll turn in then. As you guys turn in to sleep, who has the lies mask? Me. You have the lies mask. Mm -hmm. so, something about it as you're sleeping, you swear in your dreams as of the waking dream, it shudders a little bit. And that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Yay! Nice. Welcome home, guys! Hey! Uh, hey. Bye, Austin! Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin! Bye, Austin! 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 Goodbye. What number are we Can at we now? go for another three hours? <laughs> <laughs> one, yeah, one. Seriously, i got nowhere to be tomorrow. Oh, oh wait, I yeah, know. I do. Uh, I, <laughs> I want to play again so bad. <laughs> I know, there's so much. This is episode 103, right? Yeah. yeah. 103. 103. Dang. Oh my, oh my god, chat! I'm so glad to be back. Hey. That was a good episode. That was such a yeah. fun episode. My son is large. He's big and he talks. Holy shit! Fluffy. Whoa! Don't talk about your son that way. We have Fluffy now. He's we have large we, and he talks. we have Fluffy. The, the time skip that we weren't involved in. Yup. Yeah. Oh man, a lot happened while you were gone. I have to talk to Cliff. Hey, oh, we might man. we might have to grab Koo Eater for a little I bit. I really want to, even if we do it oh, like off. Here we go again. Even I'll if we do if... it off screen, I'll tell. I want to do it with him. I should I should see if uh, I should see if he's available if he wants to come in and like we I could talk to him about it. Oh, yeah, see if he wants to come talk to me. That'd be fun. Let's see, yeah. Um, Just the, oh shit! Here we go again. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go oh, again. Boy. Oh man, that was. That oh was Lord, really we good. can we can we call this? Oh Lord, they coming back. Oh Lord, they back. Oh. We've already got. We've already used the boys are back in town as an episode title, so we can't use that one. We have used that one already. Mm. Oh Lord, so the, be oh Lord, they coming. Honestly, all Lord be coming should... is pretty good. because yeah. they're not going to be able to decipher anything about what the if... episode from it. Unexpected. <laughs> what if? I mean, we we already knew. We already knew that the, it was going to be a time skip uh, beforehand. Yeah, yep. you guys did. Yeah, I'd like to think you did. Yeah, well, something, something I think alluding to that, but not like giving like it away. Like Back to the Future. I don't know. Time flies. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're back. Maybe in, Back to the Future. We're back in unexpected story. <laughs> oh, I my. think I honestly think all load he coming catching up. Then, is good. Then when people see the cat, they'll know. Yeah. Catching up, catching up is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's up to you guys. It's your show. It Figure is. It Monty will decide, I think, and post it in the chat for us. Well, but... here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start making... Oh, home sweet dragon home. Nice. Home sweet dragon oh, that's, home? That's, that's pretty cute. cute. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Bosco, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and they can find me right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. If you haven't heard, yes, I'm Alistair and has been hotel. That happened while I was away. Uh, I'm Yay. also in the new Call of Duty, so go check that out. Nice and brunch. yeah, I'll get you all caught up on the stuff I'm doing later. I don't want to keep these guys later than they've already been here. Sweet. But yeah, check out my streams. We do crazy stuff. And wrestling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monty, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow is going to be Skies for Arcadia. I'm going to upload the next episode tonight on YouTube because I realize I haven't done that. Uh, and then probably Sunday late or throughout the week, there's going to be a bunch of uh, Resident Evil 2 streams because I'm getting right back into that game because old habits die hard. Uh, probably going to be doing um, just some practice -y things because now that I figured out how to get my game up to 120 frames, I can now do quick kill strats. So I need to practice my quick kill strats against oh, bosses. So okay, those are mind -blowing yeah. I, 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 Someone has a title, uh, epi title for this episode and I... I want to use it, but I know it shouldn't. And it's just called I Love My Wife. No. <laughs> no. Food That's, making. God. Food it's making. been Food five making. months. It's been. It's been. It's been. Food making. I said. 
<laughs> I bought that. Did you, did you Distortion you? Devil, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at CNL Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I'll be doing peppering throughout the week. Uh, short little one hour long ring fit adventure streams. Hey, uh, working, working to uh, cut cut down on my weight a little bit. Yeah, I saw, uh, I saw your post. Good luck, dude. You're going to kick ass. I know. Oh, yeah, man. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, those are happening throughout the week. Friday is going to be Friday Fun House, where I uh, completely forego my diet and drink a lot of alcohol and play fun games with my friends. Saturday is going to be The Witcher Blood and Wine expansion. And Sunday is going to be uh, Dungeons & Dragons uh, Exploiting 5th Edition Rules stream, where I try to make the most ridiculous characters possible and maybe some homebrew some classes. Awesome, dude. Hey, Zito, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where tomorrow can be either one of three things. Uh, continue playing Disc Creatures, continue playing uh, uh, Monster Sanctuary, or continue playing The Outer World. All of which, apparently, everyone really wants me to do long plays of. And you know what? They're fun enough that I will oblige. Awesome, awesome. And guys in Goombla. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where can they find you? I I know Bosco. I know. Uh, you can find me at Twitch. That TV forward slash guys. Do you know where they can find you? Yeah. No. <laughs> Look, I'm tired. I, 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 I did not. Where am I? Do, this, where are you? This, <laughs> this does not kindle joy. Twitch.tv Twitch. forward slash guys Gai Gai Uh, I've uh, dude. Taiko Tuesday has been fucking great. <laughs> Last night, or the, the night before, we had a whole bunch of new people in. We got a brand new overlay thanks to Tabby Cat. Stuff's happening. I'm really excited for that as an ongoing Tabby! project. Uh, and then this weekend, since the beta will be over this weekend, uh, I'm going to be jumping back into the Neo 2 beta. I've cleared everything PvE. We're going to jump into some random groups to hopefully assist some noobs. Boy, is it going to be an adventure because you cannot communicate hey. in that game. Hey, Monty. Hi. Octopimp wants to know if they checked their mail, which they did, because apparently he sent them a letter. Oh, did, that's did, right. Did, Fuck me. You guys will have that next time. I'm so we're sorry. We're going to read it. Octo, show up next time. We we checked the I mail because I'm around, so of course they did. I think I, thought I they already knew. Read, I thought they already read that, but I could be completely wrong. I am so, so we'll sorry. We'll double Letters check. Zenrio. If, if, if Zenrio sent a letter, we got to read that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I, 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 I think oh. I do remember a letter from a letter Come sent on, from guys, Zenrio guys, at some point. Guys, you'll never believe it. Oh, guys. Oh. I am oh not God. seeing one, so I did not, and I fucked up. And I'm I, oh, man. I, I, so that means, like, unless, I didn't even see my letter. Hard what hard the hell, Monty? God. <laughs> it's like I'm really <laughs> there, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, sorry, I know, Octo Pimp. I'm you, dude. Octo, I'm so sorry. Yeah, could you send that to me again, Octo Pimp? Oh, bummer. I feel like I feel like God. I could put that in, but I could have. Oh, it's been a yeah, while. Octo Pimp says like it's like fine. You've been gone something. for a while, to be honest. I, 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 yeah, you have. You have I, been I, gone. I, I, I want to. I want. I, I want to make a joke, but I don't know if it's allowed. The the subject. Oh, dude, of the no, email. make a joke, man. It's all on you. Go ahead. No, no, octopus not kid. No, octopus not kidneying around. Okay, guys. Oh uh, yeah, dude. Uh, oh, I get it. It's a joke because it's like a kidney, but you said kid. By the way, Octo, I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, Octo, we hope you're doing okay, man. You bounced yeah. back from your surgery. So. Octo, they're dubbing uh freaking Guilty Gear 2020. I don't know if you saw, but they're dubbing it, and that means they're probably gonna replace me. But they're dubbing it. Sorry, he would get that. No, no, nobody else cares. <laughs> oh, care. You can also oh, okay. find. Well, you, thank you, Connor. You can also find Octopip at twitch.tv slash Octopip, where he has an unyielding amount of energy. Yes. Into the wee hours it's, of the night. It's real too. Like people are like, mm -hmm. "That's fake." It's like, no, that's that's him. No, that's no, him. This, this I have I have talked to this man. Amazing. I have talked to this man about Silent Hill Two until like four in the morning. We talked for four hours about Silent Hill once, and I'm just like, wow. Also, Bos Bosco, I kind of find it funny how you don't believe we all know the smell of the game. <laughs> the smell of the game? <laughs> you son of... It smells, <laughs> uh, it smells like diesel and uh, ozone. And really and bad work. butt rock. Oh, 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 oh. I love really it. Bad. I fucking love it. Don't get me Shut wrong. your mouth, Hayden. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Don't don't. Why? Are, I'm sorry. Why? Oh, guys, you had just gone. D guys, just call alt metal what it is. Don't call it butt rock. <laughs> <laughs> unless it's a Sonic the Hedgehog song. In that case, it's butt Pip rock. says, "Hey, it's good butt rock." <laughs> or unless it sounds like. Butt rock. Hey, no, 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 no. That's not butt rock. It's ass rock. <laughs> Who still needs to say their shit? Is it you? Kurt, where can they yeah, find yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're building up. I, I didn't know if Goomba was done. I thought this was extended. No, I'm, I've been done. I've been, He's been, been done. done. So I'm safe for a long time. I, uh... <laughs> fucking man, I Jesus miss you. Christ. I miss you so much, but I miss you all so much, guys. I was sick for too long. <laughs> I just... It's like, oh... Uh, but yeah, guys, you can find me right here. And, uh, we, of course, have, uh, Multiverse, Nexus Wrestling, and plenty of Destiny streams. And, and uh, also, you're going to be doing a charity, aren't you? I am going to be doing a charity event on the 16th. And that'll be a lot Come of check fun. Check it out, guys. It Multiverse Nexus Wrestling's C101, inspired by the G1. And it'll be for the Pugalog Pug Rescue. So, excited to do that. Do it. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, all my streams from now until Saturday, uh, every dollar that I make goes straight towards ALS research. So oh, definitely nice. come and nice. donate to my to my streams because nice. ALS, we want to kick its ass. And we're doing a, uh, a walk on Saturday. So we're trying to raise some cash. Hell yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Um, who are we raiding? Uh, who are we raiding? Uh... Uh, there's that friend of Gaijin's, Shy White Mage. He's only got one viewer right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. What are they streaming? Well, Rabbit is also I was, on it. Tabby also, Cat. I was, tab I was gonna Tabby. say Rabbit is Rabbit's Rabbit's doing Okami. I as a personal fan. Ooh, of that I game, do like Okami. That's Okami's fucking. Yeah, but it's a I'm, fucking I'm, I'm sorry. Game. I, I can't find hey, I can't find hey, Mr. Rabbit. I know oh, it's so weird. Oh, I guess Rabbit, we can't rate Rabbit, him because his stream name is dumb. Oh, yeah, he's he Rabbit Quest. Rabbit Quest. I'm, it's, I'm, it's Rabbit Quest. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have any room for any more friends. I, I have to. I can't ask. Yeah, him. we have to. Yeah, we can't. Yeah. Sorry, human, hey, Mr. Rabbit. If only, only you weren't trash. The, hey, the human wow. brain can only hold wow. 150 God. people uh, at a time. Thank you all so much for coming to the Unexpectables again. We're back after hiatus. Amazing. We'll see you next week. Yeah. We yeah, will. we will. Can we just do it now? Oh can we just yeah. Do it now? I will. I uh, wish, dude. I have everything ready to go. I'm so ready. Uh, uh, <laughs> stop being in the freaking Midwest and we all can right. go all night. Alrighty. <laughs> From all of us to you, thank you all so very much. And oh wait, last two last minute bit to real fast probate with a thousand bits. And he says, Oh wait, with a thousand bits, episode title, The Boys Are Back in Town. That was the last time we did that. Otherwise we would use it probate. And Ellen and Megalon Tears of Mozart, thank you as well. And thank you all tonight. We'll see you next time. Remember, read messages. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. And that's.